after we hit the record button. I almost forgot. And say hello to YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Uh, looks like this is our newest save. Okay, so yeah, we're going to continue our Jack and Daxter Precursor Legacy, trying to play through it and finish it up, and, uh, yeah, new day, like, like I was saying. It's going to be weird. It's going to take a little, little bit to get used to streaming on Mondays instead of Wednesdays. It's been a while since, uh, we've streamed on a Monday, but I think it'll be better going forward for me personally. Give me a little bit more time... To, to do stuff with, like, family and things like that. Wednesdays were just a better day for me to have off in general, honestly. How do we... Okay. Oh. Let's go. Now, last time... <laughs> before... Right before... Ow. Well. Good way to start. Good way to start. Last time, right before we finished the stream, um, the game kind of freaked out on us. So, we'll see how it goes today. Um... Yep, knew that was going to happen. I'm hoping we don't run into too many problems this time. There was, like, the entire screen just glitched the hell out on us, man. It was really weird. But we did learn we need to finish over there, not just press all of these. So we got to be a little more careful about how we go around here. I, uh, I, think we have to switch on I don't think it'll be too hard, though, is what I was trying to say. Unless we die, of course. <laughs> it's going well. It's a good start. It's a good, it's a good start, man. Dying. <laughs> We've only died twice in the matter of uh, two minutes. That's one death a minute. That's not, that's not bad. Oh, boy. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. I think the pattern we were doing, though, wasn't too bad. I don't know if there's any way to kill this thing that's flying around, but it would certainly make my life a lot easier if you can. I'm going to die again, dude. Oh, buddy. Let's go. Okay, where's he at? I don't know where he is. I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to jump. <laughs> just run the hell away so we can finally get this thing. And then we never have to deal with that room again. And before game crashes and we have to do that room again. <laughs> That's more or less what I'm expecting. G, G, that level. Get the hell away from us. I hate that thing. Well, I mean, look. <laughs> We're just death warping back to the other room. Because I'm pretty sure we keep the thingy, right? Reach the center of the complex. Match the platform colors. Wait. Did we get it? I don't know. The door's locked. What are the other ones? Follow the colored pipes. No. Quickly cross the dangerous pool? Maybe? Man, now I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure if you die after collecting one of those... You get to you get to keep it. Okay, yeah. Now that we're getting closer and they're all loading in. Oh god. <laughs> it's done. We don't need to worry about it anymore. <laughs> Screw that one. We're getting the hell out of here. Uh, this is gonna electrify, isn't it? Yeah. Got to be careful of that, man. A little zappy zap on your ass. Doesn't feel too great, to be honest. I feel like we've missed some stuff somewhere. I mean, we can come back. Like, I don't want to go down the slide. Because then we would have to play through the whole area again. But wait a second. Didn't we do... I think we did do this one, though. Because I think this is the one that it was saying we had to do fast or whatever. Yeah, and then that's just the way back down. Okay. So we're good. We can go down the slide. Oh, God. We're going to run out of time. Ow. Just one zap, though. We're, we're, we're fine. Now, what's up there, though? Maybe that's just, like, a way out. Oh, God. That's a... That's an explosive box. <laughs> we don't want to... We don't want to hit that one, man. 
What I want to keep my eye out for is see if there's any of these scout flies on the slide. So I'd love to get that orb. I didn't see any. I think we're in the clear. Okay, so we got a bunch of power, but for what? Ooh, okay. We need to power up whatever these weird ball-looking things are all over the place. How did I miss that one? Now, I wonder if... Are they on a timer? Or do we have, like... I guess we prop... Seems like we have as long as we want to power them up. Is there anything else in this room? The slide up. And was that a... S Whatever that is over there. But what does this do? Oh. Can we ride this back down? I'm assuming we can ride it up and down. It's like an elevator. Just another way to get in there. Yeah, it's got to be. Wow! You raised a piece of the underwater ruins to the surface. It seems you can use eco in ways we've never seen before. A power cell surfaced with the room. Climb up there and get it. Uh, okay. <laughs> I will try. How do we or how do we? Did I just what? Uh, maybe we have to, like, spin. I'm getting reacclimated to the game. That's what happens after I take a week off from anything. So if we... Not that one. That. We can extend a little bit. There we go. It's, like, right on the edge of what was possible. We, with a normal jump. You could probably get there with a normal jump, but... I am not that good. Oh, God. No, 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 no. You bastard. <laughs> Where did we get... Where did we respawn at? Where's the... Where's the thing? Oh, God. I feel like there's meant to be a better way to get here, where we are. Oh, that's how we get over there. Well, we're already over here now. Let's uh, see if we can make it over to that one without getting murdered. The other scout fly, that is. Ooh, and then maybe here. Wonder if maybe we can make it over to that one from here. Name change because someone. I feel like there's more coming. <laughs> Not stalling me, Hurricane. Oh, okay. Now I feel like you're just going to have to deal with a bunch of people calling you Caden, though. I'm assuming you can't just have, like, Psycho or Psychos or something like that. Oh, okay. Calm down, Mr. Fish. Let's go. Oh, so you don't mind that. Okay. Well, then, yeah. I'd say it's a pretty good name change, then. <laughs> Back down we go. For a second, I thought it was making the sound of uh, the fish coming to get us again. I was like, dude, we are in a giant ancient elevator. How the hell is this fish trying to get us? But no, we're good. Now there was a room. This one. So what, do we just ride these up? Well, this doesn't seem too bad. It wasn't much of a puzzle. So we're missing one more scout fly somewhere. We 
got this. Ooh. Oh god. We're fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Son of a bitch. There's too many poison boxes. Okay. We're good. We're good. Big ass slide. Let's go. And then from here, we just run back up to the top, I think. Or like climb back up to the top, not run. Still doesn't explain where the last scout fly was that we missed, though. Oh, wait, is this gonna like. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. It's what I thought. I didn't remember being on a timer to do this, but. <laughs> also, I can't see anything. I'm glad it like made us grab that platform because the camera was not cooperating. Do we get a refresh on the eco at some point? Ow. Oh no, you bastard! Try number two. And we can actually see this time. That's handy. I guess it doesn't make that big of a difference, but it did uh, speed things up a tiny bit. Dick. What's up, Chocobo? You know, I don't think I've ever played a beautiful Joe game before. I've seen them, like, on the internet, but I don't think I've ever actually played one. Not to the best of my memory, at least. I'm good, man. A bit tired. My, uh, mom came over this morning, so I had to get a up a tiny bit earlier than I normally would on one of my... Non, like, normal work days. But it's not that big of a deal. And, of course, it was nice to see her. I don't get to see her all that often. But I am a wee bit tired. How are you, my guy? There's another one. We're still missing the scout fly, though. I thought maybe the last scout fly would be in that section. Damn it, and that's the last one we're missing, too. It's just the, the scout fly. I mean, we're missing some of the precursor orbs or whatever the hell they're called, but I'm not that worried about them, like, collecting every single one of them. Really? And that answers our question about what that door is, I guess. That's fine. Unless it's going to respawn us at the very bottom of that thing. <laughs> I hope not. No, okay. Oh, actually, this is fine. Oh, you dick. Oh, we're fine. Everything's good. Okay, scout fly, scout fly. Wasn't there... Yeah, there was that section right there that we never figured out how to get to. But there's no scout flies there. Oh, and then wasn't there, like, something up there, too, that we couldn't quite make it to in time. Yeah, that right there. So we can kill that thing. Good to know. Um, but other than getting more precursor orbs, I don't think that's really going to help us. Get over to here. I mean, the only thing over here, I guess, are some chests, so... At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter one way or the other. Wait, what? Oh, that's not a, uh... I thought that was one of the ones that, like, raise up. That's not. It's just one of the... It must be one of the vents or whatever that we can unlock at some point. Okay. This is gonna kill us, that's fine. Where is this last damn scout fly? And where did it respawn us at?
up here. We've been through this section? There's a lot of stuff we haven't grabbed here, so I'm not sure if we've been through here yet or not. Or maybe we, like, missed the jump and then just fell straight to the bottom before? Oddly enough, I still don't see any scout flies, though. Now, I don't think we've been through here. Another one of these beautiful platforms. Wouldn't be so bad if we had, like, a more of an AoE to pick this stuff up. Like, if we were powered up by the precursor energy, the, the eco or whatever. But having to slowly grab them basically one by one like that. Just a wee bit annoying. This takes us back up and around. Is this door open? It does. What's this do? Another elevator? I think we missed some more orbs in that last room, but oh well. Oh wait, this is the entrance. Okay. Well, shoot, dude. <laughs> I must have just skipped that first room entirely. Like, got down here, saw the, the spinning platforms taking us up to the top, and then just been like, peace out. I don't know why I didn't grab any of the orbs or anything. In this room right here. Oh, well, we fell. And there's the last scout fly. Let's go. What does this do? That makes sense. Oh, it's timed, though. Oh, God. Well, we were fine if this stupid platform wouldn't have gotten in the way. When did this get changed to Mondays? We talked about maybe doing it last Wednesday. And then uh, I thought I made a Discord post. I might have forgot to make the Discord post earlier in the week. <laughs> I thought I did, but maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I know that I talked to my D&D group about it. So I probably just confused talking to my D&D group with posting on discord because since i switched this to monday i'm also switching my D, &D to uh let's go no you bastard why every time oh <sighs> it's fine uh where are we here we are anyways yeah since i switched this to monday i switched uh D, &D to mondays as well when did this get changed to Monday? I think you did otherwise. I think I would have remembered. Maybe. <laughs> That's the problem. All of us have shit memory, so who knows, man. <laughs> so I probably forgot to make the Discord post. I definitely talked about probably doing it. Um, are you serious? On Wednesday. But I may not have ever gave the for sure this is what we're doing. Oh, really? I didn't know we could just hit a button right here and get it up. Okay. Uh, I think that's pretty much all to do down here, man. Like, there's a couple more orbs, obviously. Excuse me, that we've missed, but... Like, those two up there. But I don't think there's anything else we really need to worry ourselves about all that much so i'm just gonna take a death because that'll put us right here in the elevator which handily takes us right up to the top anyways hello Roop. <laughs> welcome man how are you doing today i hope things are going well for everyone not just Rue, but okay so i actually kind of want to get back over where we were before we went back down there. So there was another level, the the bog or whatever the hell it was called. Can't just swim in the water though, we'll die. A giant fish is a bit of an asshole. 
You're okay-ish. Cat is eating now, but KFC is still shafting me, and you have multiple tarot cards and deities telling me to just fucking quit. I, honestly, man, I personally, um, I mean, I, I think we've talked about this on Discord before. I would say put in a two weeks and get the hell out of there. <laughs> like, because, yeah, that place sounds like trash. All right, give this guy some money and then uh, let's do a race, I guess. Work there maybe two days this month. Two days this month, and we're at like the end of the month. That is terrible, my guy. Just gotta work up the courage and decide if I wanna leave a note or just talk to them about it. I'm personally a fan of the note. Whenever uh, I've quit jobs in the past, that's what I've done is note. I mean, they usually end up having questions whenever you hand in the note, but you know. Sure, I was tough once. Maybe even the toughest of them all. I single-handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year. Then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the Boulder Bombardment. So, full of valor, armor shining in the sun, I climbed the hill to take him on. But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? Cause it's killing me! After my last stunning failure, he sealed the passageway to his roost with a 30-ton boulder, leaving no way for anyone to challenge him again. So, our sage, a master of blue eco, and a mechanical genius, devised a machine capable of lifting the boulder out of the way? Can we just blow it to smithereens? He disappeared before we had a chance to turn it on. And he took all of his power cells with him. At least I was able to pull enough pontoons out of our bridge to prevent that monster from coming down here to do me harm. Yeah, good, good job, tough guy. But uh, we're, we're gonna need you to uh, put him back in stuff. Oh, sure. And seal my doom. All right, fine. Bring me 90 precursor orbs and I'll let the pontoons loose. But I'm not going to fight that monster again. I don't think we technically need the pontoons, but we'll do it. Um, oh, we get a power cell too? Dope. Personally, man, just to avoid drama, what I would do is just say, like, thank you for the opportunity for working here and the experience that I've gained. Um, but unfortunately, I feel it is time for me to move on to future endeavors and uh, put your quit date, sign it, hand it to someone, and then there you go. <laughs> like, essentially, that's what I would do. Just because if you do anything else, there's just going to end up being drama, man. And who needs that in their life? You know what I mean? I know, I know, I don't need no more drama in my life. And I'm sure it's the same for you. Sorry, my back's a little fucked up. It started bugging me a couple days ago. But then I was, uh, lifting a little bit downstairs and all of a sudden it just started hurting worse. Hopefully it's not too bad. It'll be fine, I'm sure. It's not my first radio with back problems. All right. So we got the pontoons back. That should make it easier to get across. Uh, will it make it easier for us to get back to the bog where we were going before? Still not positive how to get... Is this a bridge down? Yes, okay. It will! Look at that, okay. Uh, actually, before we do that, because I'm going to forget if I don't go do the race. For that dude. I will definitely forget about it otherwise. Interesting. Can work with that, plus they know I'm a college student, so I could say that I have an opportunity for a job. That would go great on my resume. 
they don't need to know I'm talking about something different. Exactly, man. Like, you know, just something short, sweet, simple. Hey, I can't work here anymore, but thanks anyways. You know what I mean? No need to get complicated with it. Ooh, we probably want to collect the energy. I doubt we're going to get the record the first time around because I don't know the course. I, I definitely don't remember it. I guess that's how we open up these paths, though. Oh, God. <laughs> that's not going to help anything either. Oh, we turn it around. We turn it around. And I completely missed that shit. I guess I can't jump that high. Maybe if I had hit that dude. Well, it looks like we might be able to like ride the edge of the wall up higher as well to get there. To get, get off the thing, dude. You know what? For all of our fuck-ups, that was pretty close, man. <laughs> like, I'm legit surprised we got that close to it. Now the big question is, where was the starting point? feel like country fried steak day will get me a manager to take it <laughs> country fried steak day dude i'm not gonna lie i haven't had kfc in a long time i didn't even know they had country fried steak but country fried steak sounds really good right about now i'm not gonna lie dude i haven't had one since i was i was gonna say a kid i don't think i've had a homemade one since i was like a teenager but i did have like I think they were just frozen ones like a frozen one that you cooked in the oven with some gravy to put on top or something like that I think I had one of those just a few years ago but like I do like some country fried steak like the banquet ones yeah I don't remember if it was like banquet or what but like one of those types of brands at least yeah oh, okay so that's that's dumb. Don't even try to jump up that. That's weird. We didn't zoom zoom. Does the zoom zoom stop as soon as you hit something? After you grab one of those eco thingies? Oh, we missed that one. Bro, how did we miss that one? Get up on the I want the zoom zoom. <laughs> oh my god. This is terrible. I mean, I don't think we need it to win because the it's right there. So like I think we can get it without getting all of the, the speed ups and stuff like that. But it's bugging me because we should be able to. I just don't know how. Where oh where? That's not the entrance. We, I don't think we lost any health, but might as well get a refill since we're here. Ugh. Well, <laughs> thankfully we had that refill. There we go. Okay, so skip that one. And then maybe just like cut through there like that. There we go. That worked out. And weirdly, these pistons, as long as we don't hit them in the front, if we hit them in the side, yeah, it seems like they recoil back. How did we miss that one? I think that's the same one we missed last time, and I don't really understand how. Or no, maybe it was it was that one. Okay, just screw that. We're not even going to try and go up there. There's probably one over there behind all of those poison containers. Yeah, see? Too easy, dude. When we don't try to do anything fancy, it's just just goes right through something else banquet has that i haven't bought in a long time they sell these boxes of fried chicken that you just throw in the oven and uh like as far as frozen chicken goes they're actually pretty good they're not healthy of course but as a treat every once in a while mm. and since it's just a big box of it too you can just grab like one or two pieces of it out of there and then uh you know, cook it along with something else, like rice and vegetables or something, and then just throw the rest in the freezer and repeat. 
Know about their new bowl things? Yeah. Right, wait, nope. I think it's Hungry Man. Uh, my memory's so bad, man. <laughs> I know one of them do make these bowls. They're like protein bowls or something like that that one of them make that are freaking delicious. Um, but I can't remember if it's them or someone else. Yeah, they're in like the, at my local Walmart at least, they're like in one of the bunkers. The, the boxes of fried chicken, like next to the chicken patties, chicken nuggets, all that sort of stuff. It's just a big box of, uh, fried chicken. You think it is Banquet? Yeah, I can't remember. Noodle would probably remember if she was in here today, because she, uh, used to eat them all the time too. We haven't been buying them much lately, just because money. It's a bit cheaper to cook food at home than it is to buy frozen food. But they are really good. A little high in the sodium, but let's be honest. What isn't high in sodium? We probably have everything we need to go to the next area. In fact, I'm pretty positive we have everything we need to go to the next area, but we haven't even explored this level yet, so like... You have to buy frozen food to cook at home? Do you not have the option of like... Cooking fresh or whatever. I mean, I get not everybody does. I was just curious. Can we go in this water? Yeah. I try to cook fresh when I can. Well, semi-fresh at least, right? Because, <laughs> like, a lot of times my, my fresh cooking will be, like frozen chicken just like chicken thighs or chicken breasts or something and then making some some homemade rice like just well just normal rice i guess homemade rice is a bit of a whatever point is <laughs> make some rice and then like uh steam some frozen vegetables or something like that to go with it a lot of times but it still tends to be a little bit better for you than like a, a tv dinner or something like that you know what i mean Although, man, I used to basically live off of pot pies, and my god, do I love pot pies, dude. The, especially, like, the Marie Caliander ones. Oof. Those things are delicious. Are we shooting the rope? Is that what we need to shoot? Can we, like, aim? Hold on. Yeah. Oh, well... Uh, I guess not. Because it's like curving towards something. Maybe that's a... Maybe that's a hint that we need to go that way. So there's something like over here we can shoot? Can we just shoot to this? No. What am I missing, dude? I'm missing something. A bag of apples is like $5, and it's easily two meals. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't personally suggest eating nothing but apples, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. I can't eat apples anymore, sadly. They, uh, kill my stomach, dude. I can eat, like, apple products, like apple cider vinegar, apple-flavored stuff and whatnot. It's not like an allergy or anything, as far as I'm aware. It seems to be a uh, problem digesting fructose. Fuck, dude. Where are we going? Um, I eat plenty of other fruits, though, because I do love fruit. But apples are just, like, really high in fructose. And like I said, they always hurt my stomach. So I'm assuming it has something to do with that. With the high fructose amount. But, like, kiwis, bananas, pineapple every once in a while... Um, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, you know, all that stuff. Eat all of that, though. It's delicious. Can I? I can probably just jump over this, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. All of that for just jumping over being the answer. Not really a fruit fan unless it's bananas or strawberries. I love fruit, dude. <laughs> I just tend to love food in general, though, to be completely fair. Like, I love fruit. I love vegetables. I love proteins. I just I just like food. There's not very many foodstuffs I don't like. 
never been much of a picky eater. I've been making a lot of homemade pickles lately with the vegetables. That's fantastic. Your classic cucumber, of course, but carrots as well. And then I brought some, bought some cauliflower. I haven't... Okay, so this one hurts. I haven't pickled it yet. It's sitting in the fridge. I just bought it last night. But I plan on pickling it soon. Come on. Thank you. You love veggies, but you got to have a meat with it. Otherwise, I won't eat a lot. I mean, that's fair, you know. I'm, uh... I'm not really, I don't think there's anything wrong with vegetarian, being a vegetarian, <laughs> but I'm not pro-vegetarian or anything like that. I, I don't see the problem with eating proteins, at least in moderation. Um, of course, people are free to do whatever they feel the need to do, but it's just, it's not for me, man. Gotta have some protein in your diet. I don't eat a ton of protein these days. Again, because meat is expensive. So I tend to supplement it more with like beans or I convince Noodle to eat some tofu every now and then, etc. But I still got to have me a nice burger or steak or some chicken. I... Oh, and then sandwiches, right? I make sandwiches for lunch a lot. I'd like to take the lunch for, for work. And those usually have, you know, ham or turkey or chicken or something on it. Wouldn't be the same without some of that. Beaten science yet by unpickling a pickle? No, I can't say I've been able to do that yet. Maybe someday. But <laughs> I haven't quite figured that one out. <laughs> Thankfully, I love pickles. And uh, making homemade refrigerator pickles, not like proper fermented pickles, has something my family's been doing since long before I was born. So I just use the, the classic recipe that we've been doing since I was a kid, but now that I'm older, I spice it up a little bit, you know? Like garlic and cayenne pepper or uh, whole peppercorn instead of like pepper flakes, different kinds of pepper in it. Uh, Noodle and I did some Italian pickles the other day by mixing Italian <laughs> into the pickle brine, and uh, that was pretty good. It was a little weak for me personally. I'm a I'm a big fan of super strong pickles, but Noodle liked them because they're they're not quite as strong the Italian ones. The classic pickle brine that my family used was it, it's super simple, man. It's literally just vinegar and salt to taste, <laughs> and then you throw in um, your your vegetables. <laughs> like it doesn't get any easier than that. And you don't really have to worry about checking the, the salt, like being precise with your salt measurements or like using test strips or being precise with your your uh, salt and, or your water and vinegar measurement or whatever to make sure that the acidity and salt levels are high enough for bacteria not to form. Because guess what? It's straight vinegar. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's going to be acidic enough to stop the bad stuff from growing. You don't have to worry about that. Which is fantastic. Now, I still wouldn't keep them outside of the fridge. They're definitely still a refrigerator pickle. Um, but it's a lot simpler than measuring everything out precisely and sterilizing all of your jars and doing all that shit. I've never done a test to see how long they keep. But I imagine they would probably last quite a while in the fridge, too. I usually don't use a brine more than twice, and uh, one batch usually lasts like maybe, maybe a week. Usually not even that long, but maybe a week before it's eaten up. So all in all, I'll, the brine only lasts for like a week and a half, generally speaking. And I haven't had any problems with it before. But they are super strong, which isn't for everybody. If you don't like uh, if you don't like sour stuff, if you don't like vinegar, then yeah, definitely wouldn't be for you. Your uncle is a vegan. I've tried to do it, or tried to do different milks and meats, but none of them taste very good. See, I have a leg up in the the milk department because I don't like milk that much. Like if it's mixed into something, or if I'm eating a bowl of cereal or whatever, it's fine. But like just drinking a, a cup of milk, don't really care for it. Never have. 
So I actually prefer like almond milk or or cashew milk or lately I've been doing uh, Silk makes this stuff they call Next Milk, which is a oat milk mixed with soy and coconut milk. It's like a blend and uh, I've been a big fan of that because it froths up really well too whenever you're like if you want to use it for coffee or for like a tea latte or anything like that. It froths up beautifully for that. And uh, the couple times I've used it in like cooked dishes, it's done really well there as well. Like, how? How? We should shoot those big boulders holding the tether. Shoot the big boulders holding the tether. What? Oh, I'm dead. Wait, how did I die? I landed on the mushroom. Okay, well, at least we hit a checkpoint this time. But anyways, yeah. That stuff's pretty good. Okay. Oh, here we go. I didn't see... I didn't see the, the evil ego, the orange ego over here. I can't really see what we're doing either. <laughs> there we go. One boulder down, three to go, you see that? it looks like. Three more to go. Let's go. I'll take that, please and thank you. Right, I forgot to turn my AC off before I went downstairs, so I, I turned it off whenever I got up here today. And, uh... It's already starting to feel warm in here. I mean, it is like 80 something outside today, but it's not that hot. I guess my computer's running, which puts out a decent amount of heat. Right now, you're trying to figure out what you can add to butter noodles to add some extra flavor. You typically just use butter, cheese, salt, and pepper, but I feel like I could add something to make it go from yeah to damn. I mean, it depends a lot on what you like, of course, but uh, garlic powder and or onion powder or fresh, if you have either one of those. Uh, are always excellent choices in my opinion. Um, the uh, hot sauce, every once in a while, a little bit of hot sauce in there, I think tastes pretty good. I would personally, I would cook the onions first, but I mean, you know your palate way better than I do, so whatever you're into, you know? A um, little bit of hot sauce, soy sauce, if you like soy sauce. A little bit of that's really good in garlic butter noodles. Um, mushrooms. I'm a huge mushroom fan, and those taste wonderful in butter garlic noodles, especially like fried up and whatnot. If you like like cooked peppers or anything like that, cook some peppers and throw down in there. It's one of the beautiful things about garlic butter noodles. It's such a, a basic thing that you can add basically anything to it. And it'll be delicious. I see death in my future again. Ooh, we good. So far, so good. Oh, we dead. <laughs> I'm hoping that platform that we just spun around and hopped off of the, the stick. Uh, okay. Wait, what? No. Not the checkpoint I was thinking we would, or hoping we would get, but you know what? It's still, it's still a checkpoint, so I'll take it. Baxter's always kind of a dick. You just get used to it. I didn't mean to jump over here. And back. It's too bad we don't have any control when we do those super jumps, man, because... He's super handy sometimes. Oh.
probably don't need to worry about shooting that, but... I mean, since we can, it has the homing ability, so might as well make use of it. You dick! Wait, did we lose... Was it when we took damage? Why did we lose the... Oh, I'm dumb. For some reason, I was thinking that... Eco we got right there was a, uh, like a full fill eco. Not just a normal one. Oh god, okay. We good, we good. Oh god. We're fine. Everything is fine. Glad they didn't have an enemy or something up here, dude. That would have sucked. That's some sort of, like, weather maker or something. Why are we trying to get rid of this thing? Other than the fact that it's floating up there all ominous-like. I'm going to turn on the AC real quick, just before it gets too hot in here, and then uh, we'll be right back. Need to re rethink this a little bit. Maybe, maybe I do put the bathroom down here connected to the, connected to the kitchen, because we could eventually turn this into like a hallway or something. We'd have to move the garden and things too, but... I mean, we, we put these limitations in to make our lives harder. We knew, I knew going into this that this was going to make our lives harder. So, I mean, <laughs> and then, yeah, so that'll be like a bathroom there. And then, okay, let's go back into to play mode. We're going to need another door. What's the difference between single door and wooden door? Single door takes less. Bro, standing up, remind me how bad my back's fucked right now. <laughs> Sitting here, I was like, oh, it's not all that bad. It's only if I, like, lean the wrong way or whatever. But as soon as I stood up, oh, shit. Uh, my Fallout mug. Fallout mug with just water in it. My normal cups are dirty, and I didn't feel like washing them right now, so I got stuck watching. I mean, not stuck, but I got stuck in a loop of watching Dragon Ball Z before the stream started. So <laughs> I was cutting it pretty close with the shower and hopping on. <laughs> so I just filled up the largest mug. Well, it's not the largest mug we own, like Noodle and I, because I bought her a couple of those. They're like uh, mugs, but they're cereal bowl size basically we have a couple of those that i bought for noodle and whatnot but i'm pretty sure it's the largest mug i personally own so i just filled that up with the water and it's like that'll be good enough for now actually i do have a clean cup up here like actually right behind the blue screen here where uh, beside the bed it had nothing but water in it. I could have just came up and grabbed that and used it, I suppose. But, again, lazy. I would have had to walk all the way upstairs and then back downstairs to fill it up. And it's just like, meh. <laughs> Why do all that when I can just dirty another cup? It's the one Texas tries to sell in gift shops. I've never been to Texas, but probably. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Because <laughs> it is. It, they're freaking massive, man. So really good for cereal, I guess, especially if you like to drink uh, cereal milk. Because, uh, yeah, dude. Just fill it up with milk and then some cereal, and then when you're done, it's got a handle on it, so you can just drink it right up. It's perfect. Or if you're, like, super depressed and want to drink an entire or drink, eat an entire pack of Oreos. <laughs> You'll have enough milk to dip them all. And again, easy to drink when you're done. It's perfect. <laughs> Big boom. So wait, what's, what's this do? It's a jump pad, right? But, oh, there is a hole. Okay. 
I didn't realize there was a hole above us. I thought we were just going to smash off the roof, to be honest. Or bust through the wall somehow. Especially because, like, I didn't notice before that they have arrows facing forward on them. So when I saw the arrow, I was like, oh, okay. So it's just going to, like, boost us through the wall or something. Nope. Oh, you bastards. Dude, we're going to die. We're so fucked. Oh, God. There's so many of them. Get away. <laughs> oh, thank goodness, man. That was too close. Okay, good. My mouse is charging. That's another reason why I was like... Well, not late, but uh, it took me a few minutes to start the actual game up today. Because uh, my mouse was dying last night. So I was like, oh, whatever. I'll plug it in. And then I stayed on the computer for maybe like 20 minutes or so. And then I unplug Or not unplugged it. Then I turned off my computer. But my computer is supposed to charge things while it's turned off. So when I got on today, I unplugged my mouse. And then just nothing. The mouse cursor would not move at all. And I was like, that's weird. Why... Why are you not working? So I uh, plugged it back in and instantly... Or no, I turned it off, turned it back on, and it worked, but only for like a second. And then it stopped working again. So I was like, okay, that's weird as hell. So I plug it in, go to the utility, and I see that, yeah, it's dead. And I'm like, what the hell, dude? I just charged it all night. It shouldn't be dead. So I was worried that it was broke, but... No, nah, it's... Uh, the utility says it's charged up 8%, so... I guess, for some reason, my computer just wasn't charging it last night while it was turned off. Not that big of a deal. At least the mouse works. That's <laughs> that's the important bit. So wait, if that one took us there, where's this one going to take us to? Oh, here we go. I didn't expect another one so close. Let's go, dude. I'm pretty sure it's Jack and Daxter that somebody, uh, there was a group out there reverse engineering. Like, I'm fairly certain there's a PC download of Jack and Daxter you can get. Now, you still have to own the original game to play it legally, because it doesn't include any of the assets for the game. Just the, uh, oh, dick. Just the, the code for the game. And uh, compiled in a way that'll play on PC. But I wouldn't mind trying that out one of these days, too. I've had it... Or I saw the article, at least. I don't know if I ever downloaded it or not. But I saw the article a while back. Just never got around to actually seeing how it ran or anything. I don't know if we can make it that far. Maybe with, like, a, a proper rolling jump. Probably just focus on breaking everything first. Ooh, or maybe that weird kangaroo-looking thing. I'm assuming that thing's got jumps. Isn't there an orb? Yeah, that we missed. Hidden in the grass. Oh, shit, dude. There was a couple boxes, too. I will take more power, please. Thank you, game. And then, what are we actually supposed to be using this stuff for? They are not, like, homing in on these rats at all, are they? At least destroy the tower. Is the tower gone? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Couldn't see it through the... the blasts of this thing. Come on, dude. Home on the rats. It's got, like, a homing ability, but it's, for some reason, just not... There we go. Oh, you dick. Just not focusing on the rats. Oh, ugh, you bastard. Okay, it's fine. 
It's fine. Everything's fine. Should be able to get back to that without too much trouble. It's really need to put the checkpoints on the other side of that platform. Uh, we don't need that. It's fine. Ignore it. Come back to you, kangaroo bro. The what? Call it a flip flop? Oh shit, there's a bunch of mice through here. Blow up. Oh god, hi. <laughs> no, you mice would follow me this far. It's over here. So it's just like, maybe after we win, like take down the last thing, maybe that's a uh, way out or something. Oh God. Okay, now what do you do? Do you just run fast? Do you, do you jump high? Okay, so you don't, like, jump high, but you can hover. You're more like a bird, I guess, like an ostrich or something than a, than a kangaroo. Do you have an attack? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> you do, but it, it flings us forward. That would be everything. Still missing two scout flies somewhere, too, I just noticed. I think there's one, it looks like, over here. Yes. Nice. Is there another one, though? Oh, God, dude. This thing handles so weird. Thank you, thank you. We'll grab that. Wait, we saved this thing? When did we save this thing? Hi, buddy. Oh, Birdie can shoot stuff too. Wait. Birdie can't jump up there? Can the bird run across this stuff? It can. Um, sound like Coco, get up, up, uh, Coco from Crash Bandicoot? Maybe it was. I wouldn't be surprised if they used some of the same voice actors. Isn't it the same developer? Or am I thinking... Oh, damn, dude. Wasn't Jack and... I think Jack and Crash are the same dev. Oh, you dick. There's got to be a way to get over there because we couldn't talk to that guy while we were riding the bird. We can't walk through that stuff. And I don't think there was a way to get over there from over there. Hmm... Maybe we need to do, like, an eco run real quick. Because the eco does let us move quicker and jump farther. And isn't there, like, a full eco pad on the other side of this thing? Somewhere? Mm, no. No, there's not. I was thinking of the, the orange eco stuff.
Maybe I just gotta get good, man. Let's try that. It is? There you go. See, I never got that into the Crash game, so I couldn't have told you. I've only played parts of them. I've never finished any of them. I don't know what it is about their style of platforming in Crash that I just never could get into. The PS2 one that we played, though, um, Twin Sanity? No, that's the racing one, isn't it? Or no, that's Crash Team Racing. So it must be Twin Sanity. That was pretty fun. Uh, I got irritated with some of the... I don't even think irritated, sorry word. I got annoyed <laughs> with some of the platforming, but the acapella soundtrack was really neat. I don't know what the point of that was. Wait a second. We can get over here, dude. I'm so dumb. How did I not see that platform, or not the platform, that gate when we were over there before? Hold on. Go back. So we just need to run around here. But we, same thing we did earlier. Destroy the stupid rat nest so they don't build more. Should be good. Just ignore you guys. Ow. Wait, what? Oh, there's a stupid thorny plant right there, really? Hello, sir. Howdy, friends. Enjoying my beautiful swamp? On these here parts. Everything that doesn't sink into the mud, that is. <laughs> Judging by the smell, I'd wager your bathtub sank in the mud long ago. What's a bathtub? Anyway, I got bigger problems now. Seems some nasty lurker varmints are grousing about, snatching everything they can get their grubby little paws on, and scaring away my pet hip hog, Parley. For nigh on to a coon's age. I've been putting out his favorite snack. But those ornery swamp rats keep stealing them. If you could keep those pesky critters away long enough, I just know Farley will smell them vitals and come back. Will you help me out? Sure I will. Good. Those rats will be back any time. Shoot all them rats. Keep from eating at least one of them snacks. So we only got to protect one. Okay. Wait, I can't aim up? Okay. So, I mean, I imagine the strategy is just to keep shooting. Because <laughs> it has the, the slight homing ability. How long do we need to protect them for? Where is this? What was it? A prized hog, I think is what he said. I think I'm just gonna sacrifice the two on the very ends, like not worry about them too much. And then just focus on like these three in the middle. Well, I guess whenever there's like no rats, we might as well try and do whatever we can. He only said we had to protect one. Although, I imagine once the rats eat the ones on the side, they'll probably, like, stay alive, actually. Now I think about it. So we need still need to check the ones on the sides every once in a while. Wait, what? Dude, it said to protect... At least one. Okay. I guess we actually have to keep all of them. Safe. Well, I take it back then. Get him. Get him. 
It's weird how like sometimes it'll home right in on these things and then sometimes it just completely seems to ignore them. aim with like the d-pad or anything more precisely no 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 okay there's so many of them why don't you put out some like rat traps or something bro oh let's go You're welcome. Your hog never showed up, though. Alright, now I guess we just go this way. Ignore that random dock back there. Ow. Oh. I thought there'd be something. Thought there would be something hidden back there, man. It looked like a perfect spot to hide something. Oh, damn, do we have... Here we are. So maybe it's less of, like, it homes and more that it just tries to, like, dodge obstacles? I don't know, man. I don't understand how the gun works. I just want to blow up all of the poisonous ones. <laughs> it's definitely homing. <laughs> and not always in a helpful way. Can I just shoot like... No, okay. We gotta jump and shoot. Why couldn't they just put one or two of these on the other side? Oh, there's our last uh, scout fly. Come on, one more. Nope. There we go. I think that's all of them. Let's go. I'll take that, please. Nice moves there, Dax. Why are there no boats at any of these docks, man? Is it because of that big weather balloon or whatever the hell it is? People scared to come out here? Or is there just nobody left in these areas besides the hillbilly bro? Is that everything? Yep. Oh god, nope. Oh, dude. <laughs> Whenever you pick up one of those power-ups, it makes you do a little jump. And it damn near sent us into the water. <laughs> Goodbye, blimp thing. Oh. Yep, okay. Good work, Jack. Your uncle would be proud. That was a giant arm from a precursor robot. I've never seen one in such good condition. It's a giant arm from a precursor robot?
he was saying something, but <laughs> I don't know what it was. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay, we made it. Um, this way. Wait, isn't that a rat's nest? It is. BRB. I want some more shooting with firepower. Thank you kindly. How much health? Well, <laughs> it's gonna say how much health do we have left, but that answered that question real quick. Blow up everything, man. That's usually the answer to whatever your problems are. Oh, and this brought us back uh, to the beginning. Dope. Can I pick up, like, one more green orb real quick? Oh, shit. This is all just red. Is there green up top? Oh, that rat will drop some. Thank you. Just wanted the, the little buffer on the health there so we didn't die in one hit at least. I guess, mm, I think that's all of the levels. Precursor Basin, Boggy Swamp, Precursor City, Rock Village. Yup. So now to talk to the, the lady and move on to the next area, I guess. Or do we need to go up and talk to the professor? That might actually be the answer, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Great, you have the cells for the machine. They ought to provide enough power to lift that boulder. There we go. Now be careful facing that monster lurker at the top. Wait. Uh, I'll stay here and protect Kira. Jack, I think you're ready to handle that monster without me. Oh, really heroic of you. How sweet of him, man. Offering to stay behind and protect her. The beam doesn't hurt, but it does kind of push us back. Honestly, expect it to do damage. I mean, it's powerful enough to lift that boulder, after all. Wait, where'd he go? I guess he conveniently moved to this boss arena over here. <laughs> now, how do we defeat him? I remember doing this before, but it's been a while. Is that instant death, or did we just have no health? No, we had two. Two things of health. That must just be instant death touching the lava. Fair. Okay. So is the goal just to survive? Or no, here we go. That? What are we? Ah! <laughs> uh. I don't feel like we did any damage to him, man. I think we fucked up somehow. Oh damn! Well. Is 
this damaging him? Do we need to shoot that thing while it's charging up? There we go. Oh, okay. It's still going to come down, though. That's fair. Now, is the platform going to be even more screwed up this time, or... Shooting a bit faster. It's to be expected. And somewhat randomly? Oh god, we're so fucked. Nope, we're fine. Somehow we lived. Uh, just start running away. Nope, we're good. We're Gucci. Let's go, dude. Collect that real quick. <laughs> Before I accidentally fall in the lava or something. Dodge these, dude. Activate the gate. Oh, be good. My. Those lurkers must be headed for a detonator at the end of the canyon. If they reach it before you do, they'll blow up the entire pass. You gotta beat them there and destroy the detonator, or it's all over. Oh God. Okay. Let's try not to run into things. Got it. No promises, though. <laughs> I'm not very good with this thing. And I'm assuming those are the, the red things or like the mines or whatever she was talking about. Basically, the do not hit these things. Okay, yep, we're dead. Try number two. <laughs> there we go, dude. Now we're keeping up with them. Uh, okay. This is fine. Ow. They're catching up quick. I had to get that scout fly though. We're fine. Everything. It's a-okay. What? Was that even possible to grab? Okay, we got it. What is that? What is that? That looked like a secret passage or something over there. Okay. Just don't fall. Holy shoot, dude. Okay. That was scary. That's not a dangerous one. We can hit that one. That was a scout flap. We missed. No, oh, dude. That was the end. Are those things instant death or did we only have one health left? How many scout flaps? Okay, we have six. So just that one that we missed. Try to pick it up. Probably don't need to worry about getting all of the things. So they don't seem that fast as long as we don't hit too much stuff. That's the, the big thing that slows us down, like that. There's no way I'm going for that jump this time. This area is dangerous, man. I don't know why they would ever use this as a way between places. 
Maybe that's, I guess that's why they developed the, the portals, the gates, but holy crap. Okay. Don't hit nothing. Oh, we, I missed the stupid thing again. We did it. We Hold on. on Can we turn path. around? Yeah, okay. Cool. I just want you. There we go. Now, carefully, because I don't know if we checkpointed. <laughs> Grab the second one. I'll take it. Good work. You beat them to the detonator. The Red Sage's lab is just ahead. Go turn on the teleport gate so we can join you. It sounded like something was blowing up there for a second. Like a Crash Bandicoot style uh, chest blowing up. With like the, the countdown that they do. It was weird. I wonder if it's possible to collect, like, all of the orbs and stuff before you even unlock the gate. Holy cow! The Red Sage's lab looks worse than the blues. Well, it definitely looks as though there's been a struggle here. Shit. <laughs> I'd hardly call it struggle. Would you, dear sister? Certainly not. The Red Sage gave up with so little effort. No fun at all. Gull? Is that you? You've finally gone off the deep end, eh? And Maya, I told you the dark eco would affect you both. Mm, nobody ever listens to old Samos. What have you two done with the blue and red sages? Don't worry about your colorful friends. You old fool. They're perfectly safe in our citadel. Our special guests. They have graciously agreed to help us on a little project. You were wrong, Samos. Dark Eagle can be controlled. We've learned its secrets, and now we can reshape the world to our liking. You can't control Dark Eagle by itself. Even the precursor... Until now, we've had to scrape by with what little Dark Eagle we could find near the surface. But soon, we will have access to the vast stores of Dark Eco hidden deep underground. Not the silos. Yes, the silos. They will be opened, and all the Dark Eco of the world will be ours. But that's impossible. Only a precursor robot. Oh, don't look so upset, Samos. We've got big plans for you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. That was Gull? The same Gull who's supposed to change me back? Gull is the guy trying to kill us? I'm doomed. We may all be doomed. If they open the silos, the Dark Eco will twist and destroy everything it touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. The fastest way there is through the lava tube at the bottom of this crater. A few more power cells and your zoomer heat shield should get you across the lava safely. All right, my boy. What's up, Nate? You know what to do. Take the flea bag and go round up more power cells. How many? I don't think they told us how many power cells we need. Have gotten in over their heads. Oh, we've got to save the other sages. <laughs> Which way did I come in? Uh, th this way, I think. Maybe? No. I don't remember, dude. Oh well, it's fine. Start exploring. I hear scout fly. You can't hide from me, dude. What is this? They're miners. I vaguely remember. I think we got visitors. You think Willard's howdy, strangers? Passing through? Us too. Well, we gotta be moving on. Nothing to see here. 
Sir, I thought you said this was a priceless gem worth well earned. Actually, we want power cells, not gems. We got four of them. Do you want them? What Birdbrain here is trying to say is, we may have a few power cells laying around, and we might be willing to part with them for 90 orbs each. Where have I heard that before? Hey, how do you two geniuses expect to get that big gem out of here anyway? Well, smarty pants, we got 12 more years of digging to figure that out. Uh, Gordy, wouldn't it take less time if you dug too? Only 12 oh, more years, right. man. Here's a power cell for those They're going to be rich in no time. <laughs> You would think the other guy would help just for boredom. <laughs> How can you just chill there for 12 plus however long they've already been d digging? Watching that slow ass progress and not just be bored out of your mind. Do we have enough to get the last one, too? I didn't see what our count was. Nope. Just shy. Well, like 30 shy, but that's basically just shy. So that's what's over here. So now this away. I'm assuming going in those vents are bad. Probably want to avoid that. I'm also assuming lava is an instant death. So, not gonna try and jump that gap, even though I really want to. <laughs> oh, shoot. It's this guy. Well, the pure light. we don't have 244 yet at the moment, my guy. Reside. You can gain my power cells by bringing 120 precursor orbs for each. Eventually. I'm sure we'll save up enough. Now, where are we actually going? Oh, here we go. Or not? That looks perfectly walkable, dude. Hmm. Screw it. Death doesn't mean anything in this game anyways. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was an invisible wall or if we were just too close to the mountainside there. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> we're already good to go to the next level hey if we want. Which just so happens to be how many we have. Uh, let's get the scout fly first. Thank you. Can I catch up? Oh, this is the lava tube. Okay. Oh, God. Which technically we could do right now, but... Oh, no! It's fine. Where? This way, right? Yeah. Slowly ride this thing back around again. Transfer. This game really needs a turbo button, man. So we can just speed this up a little bit. There's nothing to do but wait. I mean, technically, you can run across these boards, but... As we just saw, it's way too easy to fall through a bunch of them as well. So we'll do it the safe way. I'll wait for it to go all the way back around so we can transfer to the next one. 
We'll get there eventually. Thank you. Grab you. Five. We still need two more, huh? Yeah, okay, we've been there, I think. We fight in Spider Cave. Nice, dude. And we won. Let's go, dude. Got to get back on that win streak. Ooh, how do we get up? Uh, uh, no, please. Okay. How do we get up there? this jumpable? It looks precarious. Okay. Yeah, no, that's not... <laughs> There's no jumping on that. Uh, okay. Well, annoyingly, annoyingly, now we gotta wait forever to get back around to the spider cave. Curse the spring semester. My sleep schedule is all fucked up and I get tired by five no matter what time I wake up. Bro, I feel that in my soul. I don't go to school or anything, but I also get tired by five. <laughs> Even though I don't wake up until between 12 and 1 o'clock. Oh, shit. Okay, we didn't have to wait all the time to get back here. It's a spider cave, right? Oh, no. This is... Damn it. This is leaving. We don't want to go here yet. I got confused on where we actually were. Yeah, I get up at like 12, 1 o'clock. And two, three hours later, man, I'm just, I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> it doesn't take long, sadly. Oh, man, just talking about it, it's got me yawning now. <laughs> Curl up with some YouTube, man. Turn the air conditioner down real low. I could pass right the hell out. I have a uh, playlist on YouTube that's full of nothing but, like, long series of stuff on YouTube. Like, Skyrim playthroughs, Fallout playthroughs, Final Fantasy playthroughs, etc. And uh, that's what I watch to go to bed, man. <laughs> like, I just turn that on and then just freaking keep watching that until i'm ready to just pass out crimson rose what's up man don't make me tired i just woke up <laughs> oh man we're always sleepy around here it's a struggle a never-ending struggle sadly <laughs> well i can see why they call it spider cave uh I'd prefer if you didn't poop out a bunch of eggs, dude. Can I not? Why can't I not hit you? There you go. You're still not dead? Are you killable? Yeah, okay. It just takes three hits. Hmm. You know, there seems to be plenty of Dark Ego right here in this cave, dude. Those dudes are complaining about being limited to the to the dark eco on the surface, but there's plenty of dark eco chilling around here. It doesn't seem to have been tapped into yet. Ah, oh, I jumped right into him. Dumb. Convenient checkpoint, at least. Now, are you, like, gonna come out and try to kill me at all? The weird centipede things, or... Hold on, we can do the uppercut. I forgot all about the uppercut. There we go. That's much better than trying to jump up and hit him. 
make we can make this jump, I think. Yeah. Now those things must be passive. The weird sign of beat dudes. Yep, should have saw that coming. It's weird that the first spider respawned, but the second one there didn't. Let's just go up around this way for now. The other way seems dangerous. We don't want to mess with all that. We'll come back to it. Jump pad? Yeah, okay. I remember there like being a snowy area and whatnot, but I don't remember these levels at all, man, from when I played before. Just remembered your four years from being 30. You're surprised you made it this far? I know those feels, man. I am 30. <laughs> I turned 30 this year. And same, honestly. Never thought I'd make it this far, but <laughs> here we are, dude. This looks all kinds of dangerous. Uh, to you, maybe? Can I? Yeah. Look that scout fly. Now we gotta climb all the way back up, I'm sure, but. Oh, no, okay. It's just right here. I was just dumb and didn't go the other way first. Now what's. What's over here? Can we kill you? I mean, they must have given us this for something. It's not irritating these guys. Okay. Yeah, no, he died. Now, what's the point of killing him, though? Does it do anything? It's going to come back out the bottom, or... I thought maybe we could, like, knock the platforms over, to be honest, or the, the log-looking things over, to be honest, but it doesn't seem like it. Nice. Is there more stuff to blow up? Maybe just more of those guys? Yeah. Oh, there he is. Damn, my aim sucks. Oh, there's more of that eco stuff right over here, though. The orange stuff. Oh, shit. That was dumb. Okay, we're fine. Thankfully, there was a platform under us. Oh, hi there. Isn't there more orange eco around here somewhere? I could have swore that I saw more. Maybe I was thinking of that one over there. Oh, shoot. There's something all the way down here, too. There's just stuff everywhere, man. I don't know where to go. What's with these crystals, too? Grab you. Uh, that looks suspicious. <laughs> I'm going to try to make it. I don't think we can. Oh, we can. Let's go. Okay. Now, we can't, like, dive underwater, though, right? Oh. Wait. Of course we can. We did that in, like, the first level. Oh, shit. Okay. 
So I'm assuming we need to blow all those up for some reason then. Oh, that's the sound effect I was talking about earlier too. The one that I think they took from Crash Bandicoot. I don't know why it played earlier, but... So it was just like out of nowhere. I touched down at like the Sage's house or whatever and it's like, yeah. And it just started making that sound. Because you were next to Dark Ego. Like at the, at the Sage's hut though? Maybe there was, I don't know. On the zoomer and about to die? Shoot, now I can't remember exactly where it triggered at. Maybe. We might have been close, or on the zoomer. I don't know, my memory is trash. Hit a crystal to get some light. Ah. Well, why can I not? <laughs> I was trying to uppercut. It was not working for me. <laughs> Try this again. Maybe kill these little guys first. That probably makes sense. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. That's why. Dummy. It's hitting X, not square. That's gonna fall, right? Yeah. I'm assuming there's another one down here? Yep. Oh boy, did it get dark. I'm stuck on something. That's fine. Thankfully, even when the crystals aren't activated, they seem to output a tiny bit of light around them. Which is good, because we'd be dead otherwise. This ain't too bad. Play it slow, play it safe, and we should be fine. I'm assuming that orbs the end, so we're not even far from finishing it up. Is there any reason to let that like spin all the way around? Well, <laughs> so much for playing it slow, playing it safe. very beginning yes I think so oh no wait okay it's like shortly after we killed that spider the one that I couldn't uppercut because terrible probably make that jump with a well-timed or well-executed rather rolling jump long jump I'm not about to try all that though that wasn't too bad dude I suck so bad at the combat Thank you kindly. It's what, 73? Yes. Oh, shoot. Grab that. There's still more to collect, though. We got... We're missing a bunch of scout flies. In this area.
And I'm positive there's something we can do with all of those dudes that are the centipede looking dudes. I don't know why I always jump to that middle one. Really don't need to. BRB, you're going to Wendy's? No problem, man. Wendy sounds delicious right now, honestly. I could go for a $5 meal or maybe a, uh, a Dave's Double. Couldn't remember the name of the sandwich there for a second. Dave's Double, honestly, is one of my favorite sandwiches of all time. So those things are delicious. Fast food sandwiches, that is. So it's right there. So we go up here. Oh, this is all the way back. No. I don't know what I was thinking. Actually, now that I think about it, hold on. If we press start, destroy the dark eco crystals. Okay, we're working on that. Use your goggles to shoot the gnawing lurkers. There we go. So that's it. We need to kill them all to get another one of the power crystals. You're dead. You're dead. Need the last one. one in a hole. Where's he at? There he is. Get wrecked. Nope. There's another one. It's going to be hard to hit him from all the way over here. I don't even know if I can, honestly. Uh, yeah, no, he's still sitting still. Okay. So how do we get... Oh, shoot, dude. There's one right behind me, too. I am blind as a bat. There must be a way to get over there where we can get a little bit closer with some... Goggles or whatever the hell they called it. The orange eco crap. Try not to fall now. Right there. Too easy, dude. I was waiting for me to fall right there, man. Just because I said too easy. He's dead. Is that all of them? I guess not. Oh, nope. I see one right there, man. How did I miss you earlier? Where did you go? Bro, I think maybe we could shoot better if I just didn't suck. There we go. Okay, so we're still missing some dark ego crystals. We got that one. Two scout flies and then a handful that I don't even know how we collect yet. Where'd that pop out at? In the middle? This one? Ah, oh, you bastard. Good, we don't have to re-kill them all. One more down. Where's this spider web send us to? Just over to here. Ooh. 
Another path I don't think we've been down yet, though. And yeah, we've been up there. So what are you hiding back here? Some crystals, maybe? I have no idea how many there are. There's one. Shoot! <laughs> oh, cool. Checkpoint. Right there. Okay, do a long jump back. I thought it would be close enough we could just do a normal double jump with a with a spin. And I do the same thing again. Why am I so dumb? <laughs> why, why did I do that? <laughs> I literally just said, okay, we need to do a long jump back. And then I just did the normal double jump spin anyways. What is this? Huh. That looks like that would be something, but... Oh, no, no. Instant death stuff sucks. Wait, what? Okay, the checkpoint played in our favor there. You know what? Screw you. You can just keep drilling away. I'm going to pretend you don't exist. I'm going this way. Okay, we're fine. I vaguely remember this. This section specifically. With the tower. I don't remember why. I feel like it wasn't a good thing. <laughs> There's a bunch of spiders over here. There's too many of you. You can just chill. Oh, shoot. They just keep coming out, too. Okay, so just get to the end. Try to, at least, without dying. Excuse me. Excuse me. I want to grab that. Now, can we get on that jump pad without offing ourselves? Oh, God. Okay, we're alive. No, get on it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, okay, they can't get up here. That's good. Can I? GG. <laughs> that's, that's a good camera angle, dude. <laughs> Just see his nose poking through it randomly there. Perfect. Alright. Try this again. Don't worry about killing them. They're infinite. I wonder how we open up that platform there. Aw, oh, dicks. Hmm. Maybe this is why I remember this section. Because these spiders suck. <laughs> the... Alright, I take it back. I suck. That's, that's the real problem here, man. I just remembered that the rolling thing counts as an attack too. The long jump. So maybe... Okay, it only seems to work while jumping, though. There we go. That's what that is. It's a hole for us to jump up through. Okay. So all of that just for... A couple precursor orbs. Wait, which way? Other way. I almost pressed X, or not X, circle to jump there. What game have I been playing that circle is jump? Why would I confuse that? It's 
apparently we can just die here and be teleported forward, right? Yeah. So that's fine. <laughs> we'll take that death. It's, it's not faster, but it's easier. Appreciate that full heal there. Maybe when I was 100%ing the game before, maybe I had missed one or two precursor orbs here. I could see that totally being a thing. With how big and sprawling this area right here is, that's probably what happened. And that's where the memory comes from. So how do I... How do I kill you? Pro jump over you and... Slam on you? No, because wait, he, the, the drill. He follows you with the drill. Maybe we need to shoot you? I'm sure there's another way to deal with them other than shooting them, though. Not like that. Probably on a pattern. I need a way for him to walk away. Yeah, okay. So we just need a way for them to turn around and hit him in the back. I got nothing. <laughs> no excuses for that one, dude. I, th I thought I had it. I didn't j double jump quick enough or something, and he he got me. Fair and square. Turn around. Damn it. Oh, God. We're fine. Turn around. Good weird creepy monster, dude. Ow. Oh, nice. Another full heal. No, 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 no. Okay. We need, what, another 90 for the miners, and then 240 for the, for the statue, dude. Okay, so we need a fair few more orbs still. Uh, back up. Wait, do you go up too, or just up and... Yeah, you go up. I don't know if it went through those two levels or if it went higher. I'm assuming this is the giant robot that the evil people want to use to... Oh, you dick! Can I just not jump around him at all, or was that just terrible timing? Only one way to find out, I suppose. Did we die since we've gotten this full heal last? No, it was in here, right? There we go. Oh, it's not a full heal. It's just one one bar of it. Every time we grab it, I guess we've just been only one health short of full. My glasses are hurting my face for some reason. I'm not missing a nose pad? No, okay. Ooh, that looks terrible. <laughs> All of those poles that we have to grab and spin on. That looks like a great way for me to die. Or screw up multiple times. Or both. to come down to here.
No. Okay. Gotta go the other way. Don't die, don't die, don't die. I was scared, I'm not gonna lie. I wonder with a, cause like when you have momentum going up and you jump, like from a platform or something like that, you actually do jump higher. I wonder if we could have like, okay, you stop before you get to here. I wonder if uh, we could have like timed that and not waited for the next cycle. If you would have done it correctly. Now the weather is nice and you want to take a walk, but it's still too hot. Yeah, it's pretty warm here where I'm at too, man. I don't know the exact temperature, but when my mom was here earlier, she was uh, standing in the doorway talking to me for a minute. And uh, it was quite toasty. We're dead. I thought we could reach. Maybe with a log jump. I'm sure there's a better way to get up there, though. Like those platforms that lead right to it, for instance. I guess my watch tells me the temperature. 85. It's not like stupid hot, but a lot hotter than I would prefer. I'd much rather it be like between 60s and 70s. Blug, exactly. That's, that's exactly right, dude. Total blug weather. Uh, this way. Nice. Oh god, okay. We fine. Got your food, now you're ready to see the ending of the game? I... would love to make it that far today. I don't know for sure if we will or not, though. We got, what, an hour and 20 minutes left for today, roughly. Now, if we went straight to the ending, we probably could. And while I'm not going for a 100% run, I struggle to not, like, collect things that are just plainly visible. It's like right now we technically have enough to grab or to jump on our thing and go on to the next section. Hmm. Probably should have saved that for whenever we undoubtedly get hit. They definitely know people are going to be taking hits around here, man. They're putting those 50 orbs everywhere. Damn, there's two of them just in here. Gonna slowly get all of them <laughs> the safe way, the easy way. And then, okay. Oh, God, okay. Those things fall a little faster than I thought they did. Wait. How do I. Hmm. We can probably just jump over to it now. I'm just a little iffy about doing that because the last time we tried to jump over there, we died. Higher up. And that platform is a little lower. Oh, that was close, dude. 
Now is it? Okay. I was wondering if it was possible to jump down from there. <laughs> it definitely is. But you gotta be careful, because you will just fall right to your death. Multiple times, of course. I don't know if we unlock this or we always had the ability to get up from right here, but I am thankful for this jump pad. Okay. Possible for us to like turn around. There we go. Okay, we're so dead. I think we got them all, though, did we? Because if we got them all, we can just focus on getting to the top and grabbing the orb now. Or the power cell, rather. That was not a pit, dude. There was standing spot there. <laughs> the death plane must be really close to the top of that jump pad. Struggling way too much for this. This is not meant to be difficult. Thank goodness. Uh, grab that, please. <laughs> Don't just leave it after all of that. Where do you take us to? Just back down to the bottom? Can we maybe jump to there? Oh, God. Okay. Well, we can. Got to remember them platforms fall. At least we're only one level down. I think, yeah, I was going to say, I think the way up is just right over here. That's not bad. go this way. Is that a... S oh, those are spinning platforms. Okay, so we should be fine. No, no, we're not. I lied. <laughs> Why? I didn't grab it. Oh, son of a... It's fine. No, let me on. Thank you. I get too impatient, man. That's my problem. Are those not things we can grab to spin? They look like they are. Oh, it's just one sticking out really far. I thought it was multiple. Perspective screwed me there. Okay, it's still going. I thought it was ending there for a second. I was like, we came all the way over here, but what for? One more jump. Don't screw it up now. Thank goodness. Now, are we missing any more from this section, or was that it? We're still missing one. Must be one just sitting around somewhere. We didn't finish exploring the beginning area of this game, or of this level, though, so... 
There's probably one around there somewhere that we missed. Might be a couple orbs we're missing somewhere too, but I'm not as worried about them as the power cells. We got the old screw dick up here too. I don't think the wonky checkpoint's gonna work in reverse. Oh, all right. More or less safe now. Where, oh where, would the last power cell be? Oh, right there. Okay. So we just need to take the platforms up. That shouldn't be too bad. So from... Which one goes up? That one all the way back there. So which one lines up with that one? That one. Okay, so we just need to get on that one right there. Yeah, there we go, dude. We got this. No problem. And that's that area done. Oh. How many... 240 for him, so we don't quite have enough, but there's still the, the snow section to explore and whatnot. It's not like we're done in the volcano area, period. To buy the last of the power cells. I think this is the way out. Let's see where that checkpoint takes us. Back to the beginning! Let's go! Perfect. I don't know how to get that one. And I must have gotten it when I was younger, because I did 100% the game. I got the Platinum Trophy on accident. <laughs> on the, the PS3 4? PS3 or 4, whichever one it was. Copy of the game. I think it was 3. But I don't remember exactly how I got that. It must be possible just to, like, jump up there somehow or something, but... When I tried, we hit an invisible wall or whatever and just died, so I'm iffy about trying again. Especially since all it's going to be is an orb anyways, and like I said, I don't really care about collecting all the orbs. Again. To the Snow Peak Mountains? Let's go. Snowy Mountain, okay. That is some deep ass snow, dude. Oh hi, there's there's also people here apparently. Um Okay. You guys just spawned infinitely? Are you coming from this? No, I guess they just spawn infinitely. Okay, well. Oh, 
Bye. <laughs> There's too many dudes up there for me. We're just gonna go down here for a moment. Oh look, a scout fly. Perfect. All the more reason to excuse me, this is my zone. You need to stay up on that hill there. I gave you the nice high ground with the scenic view and all that. At least you can do is let me have the little low area there. Uh, are you going to shoot those? No, you're just going to charge. Okay. Do snowballs hurt? I'm inclined to say yes. Okay, well, <laughs> we found that out real quick. They do indeed. They do indeed hurt. I think there's a bird in this section that we can ride on or get carried by. That sounds right to me. Oh, God. Nope. Nope. Okay. So whatever firepower that Red Eco stuff gave us does not make us immune to snowballs either. Who knew snowballs would end up being the most dangerous thing in the game for us? Snowballs and jumping. <laughs> Just want to get the last two. They're right there. Okay, so what does this do? Can we melt icicles with it? I'm thinking it's something along those lines. Or maybe it's just like a power increase. Oh, gotta do some cleaning around your house. Catch you later, dude. Have a good night, man. I hope the cleaning goes well. Oh, it also burns his shield. That's good. You poor kitty. She's still getting used to eating. Aww. I hope the kitty starts to feel better soon. Maybe we punch that with the fire fist. That would make some level of sense. Because it's fire, this is ice. No. Maybe we punch this with the fire fist. Also, no. Do anything with this. Maybe maybe this is just a complete waste of time. Is that possible? Hmm. Ignore that for now. We'll come back to it maybe. Oh god, hi. You can do it. I don't think it's actually possible. <laughs> I mean, I could be wrong. It might be, but I don't think it is. Plus, we're dead, so there's also that. Fine. Thankfully, death isn't really that big of a deal in this game. You just respawn at a checkpoint. You don't even lose progress, really. Just, just like literal progress. You're the length you made it through the level. Although the checkpoints are wonky too, so sometimes the, <laughs> sometimes the the freaking checkpoints end up actually helping you, or death actually helps you get through points because you'll trigger a checkpoint that you haven't actually been to yet. You hated the snow level. I don't remember much about the snow level. Holy hell, okay, that bridge is slippery. I did remember there was one, and I'm pretty sure there's a bird around here somewhere. 
But other than that, I don't really remember much about it. God, I don't like these enemies, dude. They spawn like crazy. And they appear to be infinite. Which is not nice. Okay, now surely we need this fire ability for something. Noodle, hello, welcome to the stream, love, and thank you for the five bits, I appreciate you. Is work going okay today? I hope it is. What's all this? You're exhausted? I'm sorry, love. Yeah, tomorrow and the next day. Well, I mean, me and you might end up doing something the next day, but you don't have to work or anything, at least, the day after tomorrow. So that's a bonus. <gasps> no! I was going back to collect the orbs so we could heal. Wait, where, where did it check that us at? Uh... Oh, just on the other side of this bridge. Okay. This is fine. What do you? What am I wanting to do? Oh, I don't have any like actual plans or anything. I was just saying, at most, me and you would go somewhere and do something on Wednesday. I mean, the Little Mermaid movie is out, but I don't think we have money to see it right now, to be honest with you. <laughs> and from what Optijack has said, it's not. Uh, it's not amazing, anyways. It's okay, like, I wouldn't mind going to see it, but I don't feel like it needs to be a priority either. It looks like we should be able to, like, punch this or something, man. Do we push it? Can't push it, can't punch it. We can phase through it, though. Oh, uh, wait. Okay, I think it's just for you. Which, I mean, still sucks. I'm sorry that it's cutting out for you, but I don't think it's actually me. -me. Yeah, okay. The stream sounds fine on my end, so. Oh, well. Like, that's twice now that one of those fire thingies have been close to this. Which, again, just makes me think, like... Is there, like, a special fire uppercut we can do or something? Feel like your service has been a little wonky today? That happens to me sometimes. I just have to, like, restart it. It does definitely look like fire fist is a thing. But does that help us in any way? Because I don't think it'll break those ice walls we were looking at. Killed that dude, though. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Let's stay off the skate rink, man. <laughs> the ice skating, I don't think it did us any favors last time. And we are low on health. I walk through the trees. I can't. Is this where the bird is, maybe? In there? I remember the bird was kind of hidden away somewhere. If the bird's actually even a thing. From, from memory, what I remember of there being a bird, accurate or not... It's a little hidden, like, behind a bunch of junk somewhere. This keeps going up. Oh, it's another one of these dudes. 
Don't mind me. Just keep doing your thing, man. I, I want to see what's behind that ice wall, too. Why does that sound like Eco? Maybe Red Eco can defeat this guy. Is that the only reason it gave us the Red Eco was to kill these dudes? Oh, cool. Okay, well, I'm assuming that was all of them. It gave us a thingy, so I'll take it. Thank you, game. I'm getting lost, man. Where have we and haven't we been? Have I seen about the Fallout TV show? I remember hearing something about one being in the works, but I haven't really seen anything about it. Did they release like a trailer or a Q&A or anything fancy? You have to clock back in already? That didn't take very long. Well, try to enjoy the rest of your shift. I love you too. Yeah, have they said, like, any actual news about the Fallout TV show? Or did they just announce, like, officially that it's a thing or something? Oh. <laughs> That'll do it, I guess. I'm assuming shutting all these things off will somehow warn us another power orb cell, whatever the hell you want to call it. Accidentally clear the notification? Sure you did. Bye, love you. Oh, dude, just grab it. Why do ice mechanics need to be a thing in games, man? It always sucks. Ice mechanics always suck. Even like original Pokemon, man. I remember when I was a kid hating that in the old Pokemon games. Where like, whenever you would walk into the ice, it would just slide forward until you would hit something else. Although with that said, at least those games had puzzles. Unlike the new games. I do enjoy the new games don't get me wrong but i feel like they're completely devoid of pu puzzle elements when you're playing them man it's just it's just walk through an area and fight a bunch of people that's it there's no real thought anymore seems like we should be able to go this way Maybe I just forked that jump real bad. Oh, yeah, no, we can make that. That wasn't bad at all. Helps if you don't fall off the platform, I guess. Roll off the platform. What's this do? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm assuming it's either a vent or we need eco for it to function. Due to release in the first half of 2024 and filming has been wrapped up. Oh, shit, dude. Okay, that's awesome. I hope it ends up being good. I mean, there have been a couple... Wait a second. It just brought us back to the beginning. Anyways, there, there's there been a couple of video game TV shows slash movies lately that have been pretty decent. So I'm hopeful this one will be good too, but only time will tell. Right, I mean, The Last of a Show was amazing. Uh, the Uncharted movie, I liked it. Um, what was the other one? There, there was another one recently, wasn't there not? <gasps> Fuck. Video game, TV show, and or movie. I mean, the Sonic movie's been out for a little while. It was pretty decent. Mario movie, not too bad. I actually really enjoyed it, but... <laughs> I feel like there was another video game TV show, but maybe I'm just misremembering.
Yeah, probably. Ah, oh, I actually over dumped it. Ah, oh, Witcher, yeah, sure. I mean, technically it's based off of the books, though, not the not the game, but still, I'll count it. No one cares about the books? I've actually read a couple of the books. I enjoy them. <laughs> I mean, sure. I am I believe the games are a lot more powerful. I almost said powerful. A lot more popular than the books are, but I think the books are pretty good. I wish I understood... What is it, Polish? Is that where they were originally written? I can't quite remember. Anyway, so I could read them in their original language, but whatever. Beggars, choosers, all of that. How many more of these weird bumper thingies are there that we need to power down? I'm assuming we're doing all of this for an grid. Or for a, a power cell. Uh, camera, cooperate. <gasps> no, dude, we were like, we we're literally butting up against that platform. <laughs> Why did we not grab it? Shit, now I don't know where we are. I think we need to go across. Yeah, yeah, we need to go back across. Okay. The Witcher show is going to be really weird now without Henry Cavill there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. I hope it still ends up being good, but I don't know, man. I'm really worried about it. Especially whenever it came out that the showrunner said something along the lines of, like, um, if need be, they could just get rid of Geralt completely to finish the series and it's like what <laughs> dude <laughs> like obviously he's not the only character in the in the books or the show or whatever but he's kind of the main character it'd be really weird to have a, a witcher series without the witcher number 13th what's up man oh my god these guys are annoying as shit and we're dead checkpoint please no. Okay. Fair enough. Back over we go. At least I'm pretty confident we're not missing anything through here. With the number of times we've come through this section now. and I just want to keep my health, man, going into this section because I feel like we're going to get hit a couple of times. Go, go, go. <laughs> that thing scared me. We're fine. I'm assuming we just need to get through here, like, quickly. Um... Oh my god, dude. Maybe I can blow those things up without getting hit by them. That's cool. Maybe, like, clearing them out first and then making a second run will be the way to do it. Technically, I guess we still don't even know for sure if we need it. It's at the end of this over here. Nothing. Okay, yeah, so we didn't even need that power-up. Maybe that power-up is what let us destroy those containers without taking damage. So what else are we missing, man? So we definitely haven't... Yeah, we've only collected two of them. We're missing two more scout flies. 
And we don't know how many, but some more of the precursor blockers. Oh, well, there's one precursor blocker right there. What? Jumped over it again. That looks like it hurt. Should I call for backup? It did. It hurt greatly. <laughs> oh god, no, my hand wasn't on the controller. Uh okay. Checkpointed. Is there some way to get these guys, not the the spiky guys, but the snow dogs to stop spawning? Why am I There we go, dude. Hey, and that would have been the last one of those. Awesome. There's one down. Still got a f fair few more to go, and we don't even know where half of them are. And we haven't explored this area behind the trees yet. Might as well do that now. Oh, God, it's ice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> can't control the camera here. I can do this, though. That goes quickly. So far, so good. Nice, dude. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And this is one of those uh, things that trigger the whatchamacallits, isn't it? The vents? I believe so. Where's my... There we go. <laughs> okay. Is there no way... I expected like a Skyrim door or something like that, a way out of here. After we got in here. Guess we just gotta go backwards. Is there anything in here we missed? Ooh. Maybe. What's that over there? Oh. Oh, so <laughs> it did have a Skyrim door. Okay, awesome. Now that we unlocked that, I don't even remember seeing any, like, blocked vents anywhere, though. I'm sure we have come across a couple at this point that almost killed us. Why do I keep jumping off that? That's bad. <laughs> it's not helping us at all. Um, okay. Oof. For a moment, I wasn't even sure it was possible to get up here. Wait, we've been up here before. Hmm. We're missing, still missing two scout flies, and then three that we haven't come across at all. There, that's the way back to the beginning. That's under the ice is where we just were. still these things. Uh, we haven't been over there, actually, now that I think about it. Like, actually in that castle area? How do we get in there, though? There's definitely some way to do it. So we've been down here. I want to say yes, but I'm not sure. 
Yeah, okay, this is just, I remember now, coming up the side of this before. From the ice over there. Oops. Screw you, get out of here. <laughs> Quickly now. We ran right back into him. Maybe down here. That's a, a hole, actually. <gasps> we lived! What? Pretty sure we've gone over here. We have. That's that's death. That's a death pit. How do we get inside this fort? It's a great question, my guy. How do we get inside this fort? <laughs> Can we burn it down? It seems to be made of wood. I don't think that's actually the answer, sadly. I'm all for burning it the hell down, though. something back in this section over here. Or a vent maybe opened up somewhere. <laughs> That's a weird ass emoji, my guy. I don't think we can actually jump. No, doesn't look like it over there. That's backed over there. I'm missing something, man. And I just don't know what it is. Yeah, we can't go in that. This might be the first level we have to give up on. Hold on, let's try to burn down the fort. Didn't I jump up here before? Yeah, there we go. Nope, okay, I didn't, I didn't think that would be the answer, but I had to try. Is it over? This doesn't look like somewhere we're meant to go. Yeah, no. Hmm. This is just back to the start. There's something here in the start? No, there's no eco vent here. Bro, <laughs> what am I missing, man? Something just isn't clicking for me. Oh shit, that was really late jump. Or roll rather, I guess. I'm getting impatient because I can't figure out where the hell I'm going. That's making me do stupid stuff. Barely, but we made it. Let's go back through here. I'm pretty sure we've been through here before. Jump too late. It's going to spawn me back over here. Oh, no, it spawned me right here. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Oh, it actually spawned me on the other side. Yeah. Or not. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I see where we are. There's the eco vent. Okay, now what's this do? This is the shooty one. 
well, there's one of the things. There's got to be more stuff to shoot, though. That opens up more stuff around here, man. I refuse to believe that was it. Maybe we can use the shooting powers to... Are there, are there strings holding that gate open? Oh, God. Don't... Maybe grab that, roll around to there, and then we can shoot the gate. Maybe we can shoot those right there, too. Okay, hold on. Go back over there again. Grab more shooty, Ego. Where was it? Right here. Run quick. Or just fall to your death. <laughs> that works too. Son of a bitch. Get through the lurker fort. Three seven scout flies. And then one mystery one. I'm guessing the mystery one is in the lurker fort. Or if my memory is right and there is a bird on this level somewhere. It'll have something to do with the bird. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's great. Now nah, we got this, man. I'm probably just going faster than I need to. Probably just slow it down a tiny bit and play it safer. For that last jump right here. There we go. Ah, oh, dude, nope. Not fast enough. What about the other direction? Maybe we can climb that hill? I don't... I'm still not positive that power-up will even let us into the lurker fort, though. It does almost feel like this is meant to be traveled this direction, though, not the other direction. Oh, okay, you can't make, you can't make that jump. I thought that jump would be fine. Can you say what you think it might be? Yeah, if it's just a theory, then by all means, man. Oh god, that was close. I did push them all, yep. Yeah, because we got that for one of them. Uh, where is it? Deactivate the precursor blockers. So we got all of those. The worst part is, I've like I mentioned earlier, I've 100% this game before. So, like, I know how to do this. I just cannot, for the sake of anything, <laughs> remember how to do it. I feel like we're missing a section of the level somewhere, like, other than the fort. Um... 
Yeah, no. Okay. Pretty sure if we could go up there, that would have been high enough to grab onto the ledge at least. I'm going to take one last look around the level. If I still don't think of anything, I guess we'll just skip this one. So we're not 100%ing the game anyways. There's no reason to spend forever on it. And we've already been here longer than basically any other level. What's through here again? Down bottom. We knew this, just in case. I don't think we need it, but... Oh, I remember now. This is where the, the yellow vent was. Isn't it? Or no, never mind. It's just one of these. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Nothing else down bottom here. Cut the door. <laughs> no. Been over here plenty of times. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> There's nothing over there besides that one orb we missed, but that's not a big deal. There's this section over here. That looks almost like we could stand on it, but I don't think we can. Yeah, because there's like an invisible wall stopping us from going over there. So I don't think there's anything down there. That was close. Oh, you dick. I don't suppose any of these have like a full health section? No. And this just takes us back. This is the way to the yellow vent thing, right? Yeah. Guys are dicks. <laughs> oh, we're still alive? Dude, I thought for sure that was going to kill us. We must have got a health right before we hit that. I don't know. That doesn't take us to the yellow thing either. So how did we get to the yellow thing before? <laughs> Yeah, I think that I think we're gonna have to call it for this section, dude. I am obviously lost. Oh well. Oh, that's that's it was through here, through the trees. But this just took us to the yellow eco thing. I don't think it did anything else or went anywhere else. Now yeah, whatever. Well, shoot. Oh, well. Onwards. Try and make a little more progress.
Yeah, dude, we're missing 90 of those things, too. It's probably so obvious how to get into there, but... For some reason, it's just not... Clicking. Okay, I'm gonna go up the other way. <laughs> you can just go up the side of the mountain. If we don't die. They gave us that shooting ability. I can't, I can't help it bugging the hell out of me. Hmm. We've been... over here? What's over here? Oh, here we go, dude! Okay. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, I don't remember. How are you useful? <laughs> this is new. Oh, there we go. It's a timed thing. Okay. I knew we had the bird dude here somewhere. That one stupid bridge, though, man. There's one section down. Oh! I was really hoping for a checkpoint in between the two. to gauge sometimes where you're gonna fall with this guy. Oh, this is stationary. Okay. Need to go. There we go. Can we make this one? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Dude. Okay. Awesome. Now, collect that. That's the one <laughs> that we didn't know how to get at all, I'm assuming. And then this is going to open up the gate. There we go, man. <laughs> oh, boy. That was that was a struggle. Just finding the damn bird. Now, does this, like, take us back? It does. Awesome. Yeah, get through the lurker fort and then find the two last scout flies. That's all we got left. I'm guessing the two scout flies are going to be in here somewhere. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. None on the bottom down here? Hmm. Just health chests? Okay. I hear one scout fly somewhere. There's one of the orbs. 
There's the scout fly. Hold on. Wait for that to re-up, because there was like three of those things down here. Ow. <laughs> Get up, Jack. Nice, and... Maybe they didn't mean for us to just yeet ourselves off this platform to, <laughs> to get those three, but I couldn't help myself, man. Can we not, like, cheese this? Maybe with a really well done jump it would be possible, but we're still missing a scout fly anyways, though, so we're gonna go the long way around. No mess about with that. A long way around, normal way around, I guess, really. all the health. We need it. I don't like the skating platforms, dude. You gotta make things more difficult for him. Oh, I hear the other scout fly. He's around here somewhere. Ah, oh, dude, I rolled right into him. Don't worry, I'll avenge you. What? Hydrate, dude, I just saw that. My bad. It has been a while. Mm. I was actually quite thirsty. I just, <laughs> I just zoned on the game. Forgot about, you know, needing water to live. <laughs> It's just right there taunting us, man. I don't know if I've ever watched... I've watched some videos about Jack and Daxter Precursor Legacy speedruns. But I don't think I've ever actually just sat down and watched a whole speedrun. I know there's like some big sequence breaks with like being able to make it through... I think it's the, the sections where you're, like, driving the the glider or whatever the hell it's called. But I bet you there's, like, smaller sequence breaks all throughout different levels and things that you can, that you can do as well. What was the point of that? Oh, okay. It just goes up and down constantly now. Okay. That's nice, actually. So if we fall again, we can get back up more quickly, more easily. Oh, you dick. <laughs> Where... Are you scout fly? There you are. So now all we gotta do is run over to or figure out how to run over to there. And Snowy Mountain is finally complete. <laughs> Just in time, man. Um is it a, yeah, it's a spinny section. Bunch of spinnies. It's pretty forgiving, thankfully. Hey, Crimson Rose, thank you so much for the follow, dude. I appreciate that. And if you're still... Oh, God. <laughs> wanting to see the finale of this, uh, next Monday we'll be finishing it up. I assume. I can't remember how much more there actually is to the game. But I'm pretty sure... It'll only be one more session. Probably not even a whole three and a half, four hours. 
You'll stop by? I appreciate that, man. Right, let's get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just glad to be done with this level. I don't hate the snow level as much as it seems like hate, uh, Nate did, for instance. But my god, man. That level just took way too long to complete. We still haven't even finished searching the, uh... The hub level for this section of the game. I think it's just, yeah, okay, through here. The way back down. Screw you. I'm really surprised they put that yellow eco vent in here for literally that one orb that we found. Orb or scout fly, whichever it was. I think it was an orb. I would have thought they would have put more or given more use to it than that. Just let me on the thing. <laughs> Please just let me on the thing. Oh, you know what? Honestly, thank you, weird snow monster. <laughs> Knocking me into the damn gondola. Still got 15 minutes. We can search this section a little bit at least. We're missing... Okay. Oh, two of those are the Oracle, one of those are the Miners, and then we're missing one Scout Fly, and I don't know what the other one is. You know what? Honestly, the whatchamacallit, um, whenever we hop on the glider thingy, that probably counts as an orb for this section, or a, a power cell or whatever for this section. So that's probably the one we don't know about yet. The underwater city in the second area is one of your favorite spots, really? I think that's probably my least favorite spot, from from memory at least. Although that spider one we just did kind of sucked. I hated those spiders. <laughs> and I mean, I don't mean it actually sucked, right? Like, it was still fun uh, to play through, but probably my, my least favorite so far. The underwater city isn't too bad, I guess, honestly. Uh, do we have enough to... Oh, yeah, we got plenty. Just got to remember how to get to the head. I forget what the head's actually called. I think he has some sort of proper name. Or title. Was it down there? I think it was over there. I think this level is one of the ones where they found some sort of big skip they can do. From when I was watching the... I don't know if it was a documentary or just like a, a mini-doc or what it was, but I was watching something about Jack and Daxter speedrunning. Oh no, this is, the, this is to the next level, next area. So where's the head? Maybe he's on the second mine tracks? The Oracle, yeah, there we go. <laughs> because I knew he had some sort of title, I just couldn't remember what it was. Well, it's not on the second, well, we're dead. It's not on the second set of, whatchamacallit. The tracks. That's the miners. Got an itch. <laughs> Where do you be? Oh, we can't jump there. Looks like we can, but no. Down here, maybe? 
yeah, there we go. Hello. You have obtained another power cell. For your effort, a power cell is the reward. Dope, thank you, thank you. We're still missing the one scout fly, though. Where the hell is that hiding at? Oh no. Yeah, the lava tube has its own too, so we're still missing a scout fly and one precursor orb. Hmm. Well, I know there's that box. And sometimes, like the one at the end of the mine, and sometimes the boxes do hold orbs. That could be the one we're missing. Oh, that camera, though. But where's the last scout fly? Oh, right there. I see it already. Okay. Well, the scout fly was easy enough. So my best guess now is that box in the very last mine area, right before the spider cave. For the last orb. Uh, in the mountains. I've already been up in the mountains. I'm not worried about them. <laughs> yeah, we have no hint on where it's at. So I'm assuming it's one just hidden in the level. One more slow ass mine ride. Mine cart ride. I'm looking for a way to jump up on that last rock. Right here on our left. Can we jump to the right? Nope. Oh, God. Right there. Or no, we can't. Now that I think about it, we can't uh, break those boxes anyways, can we? So, maybe in the spider cave area, can we get like... So there's a lot of those vents with the shooting power in here. Can we get one of those and then maybe run over there and shoot it before it runs out? Ah, oh, dude, come on. <laughs> I don't know what happened and how I spun so many times last time, because I don't think that was supposed to happen, but whatever. I'm looking for one of the vents that are close to the entrance slash exit here. Right there. Perfect. Okay, so I want to, as quickly as I can, not do that. <laughs> that was death. Okay. Um, so probably long jump or just take an extra moment to jump down. One, one or the other. What was it? There it is. Long jumping will probably work, right? Nope. Okay. Just gonna have to jump down and then jump across normally. It won't take that much more time. Hmm. 
I don't think you're meant to be able to jump up there like that, but I'm glad you can. It saves us from having to go all the way around. Come on, quickly now, quickly. No, dude, okay. It should be possible, though. And I can't think of any other way to get that, because I don't think there's any of the, the shooting power eco stuff in that section anywhere. Not that I can remember, at least. Now, there is that one there, which technically might be a little bit quicker. Hmm. I don't know, man. I think we're just going to keep trying it with the one we just had. Come on, dude. Nope. Ah, oh, that was a waste of time. No, no! I couldn't even see it, man. We were close. Just one more jump up. Okay. Watch this not even be it, man. It's, it's going to be the worst. There's probably an easier way to do it, too, but I don't know what, so... This is how I'm going to do it. Oh, maybe you are meant to be able to jump up there, actually, because with a high jump, you can just get right up there. I was actually doing it the hard way. So that one over there would give us a tiny bit more time. Is it hard to get to that one? No. Okay. Let's try it with this one. So from here, we should be able to just... run off the platform. Yeah. What was that, dude? My jump got, like, cancelled early. That was slow. That was also slow. No, dude! <laughs> that sucked. Okay. That definitely worked, though. We're so freaking close. Uh, how did I get over there? Oh, from here. There we go. I wonder... Like, when you do the little jumping animation, when you first grab it, I wonder if it stops... God, that was... Okay, that was faster. There we go, dude. Nope, that was slow. Let's go! <laughs> Last one, man. Hell yeah. And technically, it is time, but I think we can probably make it to the next section real quick. Next, and I think last section of the game. Last, uh, I don't really want to call it world, because it's all one world, but you know what. You know what I mean. Specifically because when we save, I imagine it'll probably save us at whatever checkpoint we collected last. But if we have the, the sage teleport thing unlocked, we don't have to worry about checkpoints putting us in a weird spot or anything like that. 
And these levels usually don't take long anyways. Because it's pretty much just get through. Same as last time. <laughs> really no difference. Different course. Hopefully less explosives. But I'm not going to hold my breath on that. I probably should have grabbed that balloon. Oh god, we're so dead. <laughs> we're, we're so screwed. <laughs> Yep, that's death. <laughs> well, that's fine. Just <laughs> we got this. Try not to fall in any holes. Good miss. Good miss. Dude, we're so gonna blow up. We haven't collected a single balloon. There's one. We need this one. Yep, thank you. The less time we can spend in the actual lava lava, the better. Okay, there's another scout fly. It's probably going to cause us to overheat, but we won't have to worry about getting it next time. Um... I don't remember this. Okay, I think we missed one, but that's fine. <laughs> There's more balloons. Damn you. Let's go. Is there any more balloons? I don't think so. That must not be the right door. Oh, yeah, we're screwed. <laughs> Holy shit, we're so screwed. There was a scout fly back there. Um... I don't think there's any way we're getting that now. <laughs> God. This doesn't look like a level you can go backwards on too easily. Thankfully, our heat's staying relatively cool. I thought it was going to be much more of a problem than it is. Okay. Hi, Scout Fly. No, don't fall in the lava, dude. We're doing so well. Oh, dope. There's another one. Is it going to end up being the one that we missed? That's annoying. <laughs> uh, That looks like death. Okay. It is, too. Son of a bitch, dude. And just because we weren't on the right path when we went on one of these things. Get, get on the thing. On the thing. Collect the thing. Get off the thing. Good job. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh, and that's the gate. Uh, yeah, that about uh, sums it up. 
You've got to rescue my father before it's too late. And Jack, be careful. Wait, yeah. is the Citadel the last level? Will be. Are we at the end? I can't quite remember. This might actually be the end. Bro, I think this is the end. Because screw it. If this is the end, then I'm going to try to beat it. Do they have you mopping the floors now? There's no time for jokes, Dexter. Call and buy a kidnapper. I think this is the end too, yeah. From from memory, I think this is the end. I thought there was another area to the game, but Then they added a few diabolical additions of their own, creating the one thing capable of opening the dark eco silos. If you can free the four of us, I'm not used to playing games this short. Okay. Uh, yeah, we are, because, I mean, this is the scheduled end time, and I do have other work I should be doing, but screw all that. We're <laughs> we're going to try and just beat the game, dude. But I, uh, I do have to use the bathroom real quick, so we're going to go take a short break, like five minutes maybe, and then uh, I guess we're going to try and finish the game. <laughs> Why not, dude? So, BRB. <laughs> Do, we'll do a single door. I have no idea how good or bad that looks, but we'll have the, the entrance to the kitchen just in the middle there as well, kind of like that. So then over here we want just a fueled stove because we're, we're doing primitives right now. Honestly, this room ended up being a fair bit larger than I think it really needed to be. Hmm. So if we put a fueled stove there, do we have like a kitchen sink or anything le yet? Or we probably need to unlock that stuff. Hygiene. Water tub. Ah, oh, basin. Yeah, there. oh, there's actually a whole kitchen sink. That's like really big. <laughs> you know what? You don't get a kitchen sink right now, guys. <laughs> What kind of, what kind of, uh, simple shower, what kind of bathtubs do we have? Is it just water tub right now, or am I blind? No, there is an actual bathtub. Can we change that to, like, wood? We can. A wooden bathtub. Doesn't that sound comfortable? Kind of feel like it should go on the side there, right? And then... But that's, that's, that's gonna be, like, later, though. Cancel that for now. For now... All you need in your bathroom is going to be, if I could find it, because I'm blind, a latrine. That's what you guys are going to get for now, and you're going to have to deal with it. <laughs> so I guess that's the layout we're going with for now. We might have to we might have to change some of the stuff later on. So we have a doubled up that room, and then a small bathroom out the back for everyone. Let's go. like that and then some single doors there and there same thing over here wooden wall there we go and some single doors hey chocobo you're not sleeping outside anymore either so that's nice right then i guess we should probably work on getting people real beds that'll be the the next thing bed rolls now we'll do we'll do actual beds um i guess just on top of yeah just replace the sleeping spots that they already have okay now while everyone's doing that too we need to start setting up priorities so this is how you determine yeah man i guess <laughs> i didn't think about it but I guess what I could have done was just look at the percentage counter down there in the bottom corner. Um, it's pretty obvious we were close to the end of the game, at least. Yeah, we still have scout flies to collect if we want to get all of those. But, I mean, we're at the end. I guess it doesn't really matter now. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> oh man, I am curious. Oh god. Oh, whichever one we touch. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I'm curious what we're gonna end up playing next one right now. I don't remember a ton about this last level either. I thought I remembered a little bit, but I think that is actually Pac-Man World that I was thinking of. Because <laughs> so I remember, like, jumping around a bunch. Like, on, on super jumpy platforms, but... Again, I think that was actually... Pac-Man World, <laughs> where you do that to finish the game. Okay, there's one of the sages. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, <laughs> we missed the orbs, but whatever. We made it over. Door. Yes, it will. Thank you, door. Let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there is a voting system. Um, it The votes are technically, like, just used to, to make something more likely to happen because it is randomized what's actually played. Um, but, yeah, if you do exclamation mark... What was it? I don't even remember, dude. <laughs> Is it in the PS2 one? Is it here? Oh, that's the old blog post that was never updated. But at the bottom of that old blog post, there is a uh, link to the list of games that I that I own and all that stuff. It's a spreadsheet, so if you're not used to or, or comfortable with spreadsheets, it might be a little bit hard to read. But the long and short of it is you can vote on basically any PS2 game. And it'll either get added to be completed, bought, or uh, tried out, depending on whether we own it or not and uh, have played it or not. Oh, okay. Oh god. Oh god. I'm so I can't <laughs> I couldn't get up. Okay. We made it. Not easily, but we made it. Hold on. How do I Do I just hit that? Okay, <laughs> we just hit that. Easy enough. Good work, fellows. Old Samus was right about you. Great piles of precursor metal. That insidious mechanical creation must not be allowed to wreak its terrible havoc. I will try to actuate the shield door by eliciting a conduit of energy between myself. Why did he and seem surprised that whenever he we unlocked him and he looked at it like? You've been trapped here for how long watching them build it? Just go find more help. Weirdo. Okay. Uh, so there's one down. Doesn't seem to be anywhere to go except for the floating platform, so... Floating platform it is! Let's go! Can I just... I mean, I know we're not supposed to, but is it possible to just, like, I feel like with a really well-timed long jump, maybe. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> that seems pretty close. I feel like it's probably possible to do somehow. 
I'm not gonna waste time on it, but mm, I don't know, dude. Those platforms are pretty close. Uh, kill you just because you're gonna be annoying. Where's this go? I think we just need to go up to get to the next one, right? Yeah, we haven't been this way yet. Grab that in this, please. Oh, and the, the... People want to call them bloat flies for some reason. Scout fly. I think I just got fallout on the brain. Oh, shit. Okay. Maybe this is the section I was remembering from the end of the game. Yeah, okay, we made it. Oh god, of course these ones are moving. Oh, we're good, dude. We got this. You're moving too? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, close. The spinny ones. Okay. We're out of power. <laughs> you gotta wait for it to get back over to here. And jump before it runs out. Okay, I guess we didn't need to wait for it to get that close, but it felt right <laughs> waiting for it to get close. We should be good. Just go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> oh, buddy. Ah, oh, but we don't have any power to power up the thing. Is there... Okay, there's some in here. Ah, oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> I thought we were going to miss that one. I would have been so mad. I mean, I don't know what muskrat actually tastes like, but that sounds disgusting. Okay, red sage, green sage. Wait. Wait, what's down here? Okay, so that takes us over to there, but what's up here? Ah, oh, bro, come on. <laughs> Bad jump. Terrible camera, too. Okay. We gotta time that at least a little bit. Ah, scout fly. Grab you up. I think that's where we went to unlock the yellow one, I think. So we probably want to actually go back down now. Which, yeah, that got us back here quicker. Um, it's getting real hard to remember what we've done and haven't done. Is that? 
that a new one? Or is that the beginning? I think this is the beginning, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's where we came in at. Okay. Maybe those ones? That looks close. Oh shit, I was looking at all the floating platforms, not the dude that was murdering me. And I need to get over there. This one actually might be a little difficult. No, that wasn't too bad. Um. Oh. Damn it. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh buddy. <laughs> I thought we were screwed there for a moment. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I thought the long jump, like long jumping over to the middle would help us. It definitely did not help us. Must have accidentally landed on two colors at some point, man. Hold on. This shouldn't be. I know there are no brown ones, so we only have three landings that we can do. Or no, four landings. Whatever. Close enough. Hi, dicks. Are you gonna spawn forever? Do I have to, like, fight my way through you, or can I just stand here and shoot? You look like you're spawning forever. Now we got the red power. What? What's the red power do for me? I never really understood how this one's helpful. Does it, like, increase the range of our attacks a little bit or something, maybe? You're all done spawning now, right? Because I blew up the three things? Yeah. Perfect. Uh, nothing here? Uh-oh. More, more platforming, I see. Hopefully there's a checkpoint back there. Oh god, I feel like I'm gonna die. Or Gucci, let's go. That's three. One scout fly and one dude to go. I'm back, dude. One to like lean to the side, but oh. Set of platforms. I'm assuming that's where 
Samsa. Whatever the, the normal sage. The one that's been helping us this entire time. I'm assuming that's where he's going to be. Where were they? Is this them? Yeah, okay. It's giving me a little bit of, uh, specifically the view, like, right now. A little bit of vibes from Castle Oblivion and Kingdom Hearts. Oh, damn it. Um, oh. And where's this last damn fly at? It's gotta be around here somewhere, dude. It's probably just chilling on one of these platforms. Oh no, it's right up there. Perfect. Now, if we did decide to go back through and collect them all for some reason, we would only need the one from that last level. The level that leads up to here. Good work, boys. You're real heroes now. I'll combine my green eco power with the other three sages. And together we'll open the shield door surrounding the precursor robot. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good start. And then after you guys open that shield, what are you gonna do about the robot? Nothing, Daxter. We have to keep the shield open. It's up to you two to figure out how to destroy the robot. Oh, great. I get to help the guy that turned me into a furball destroy the only person who can turn me back! First, save the world. Then we'll try to convince Gaul to help Daxter. You two great save us. But I, with that limitless dark ego, I will have the key to creation itself. This is madness. Releasing that much dark ego will destroy everything we know. Just look what it's done to you. It has given us a beauty beyond anything you could understand. Beauty? Have you two looked in the mirror lately? Just wait until we open the silos, little one. You think short and fuzzy is bad. And to think you two traveled all this way for my help. Fools! Enjoy your front row seats to the recreation of the world! What's the motivation here? <laughs> Are they just psychotic? Is that the whole motivation? I think they're just psychotic. Which, you know, fair. <laughs> I do vaguely remember the end of the game here, too. Like this, this very last fight. Now that we're riding the elevator up, it's coming back to me a little bit. Oh god. <laughs> I didn't, e <laughs> didn't even make it over before death. <laughs> Try that again, maybe. <laughs> We're moving a little faster than I expected, that's all. <laughs> I don't necessarily remember how to do it, though. Um. Okay, shoot him in the eye. That makes sense. Okay. 
dodge the attacks. Oh, and it's slowly opening up too, okay. Just gotta be careful about that. Got an eco vent. Wait. Did I not do it in time? Did I jump too late or are you just not allowed to jump at all during that section? Fuck, I don't remember. I'm thinking we just did it too late. I was trying to wait until like the last moment. Okay, yeah, it just blows up whenever you jump. So we don't have to worry too much about that. Couldn't remember if you could do anything with those towers. <laughs> Uh, I hope we're not like, okay. Wasn't sure if we were gonna die like instantly from standing on that crack. Hi buddy, uh, Al, what are you? Are you summoning monsters? Yeah. Oh, they're mean monsters, too. <laughs> they hurt. Uh, I'm out of, I'm out of energy. Ah, no, 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 no. Don't fall. Yeah. You suck. You all suck. These ones take forever to respawn. <laughs> I just want to grab most of that health. We could use another health pack. I don't think we're going to get one, though. <laughs> Another round of that? Okay. I'm fine with this. I'm okay with jumping. I don't mind jumping. Wanna do it again? Oh wait, we probably need to like shoot him or something, huh? To like blow up his arm thing. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, wait. Leave that. You don't need the health right now. Try to leave it till later. Grab this. Come over here. Jump up here. Where's the, the thingies? I need the, the shooty power. Uh, already, dude? Uh, why do you take so long to refill? Or respawn, I guess. Let's go. I think we probably have to shoot his arm thing during this section. That would make sense to me. Oh god. Is it automatically good? It's homing. Kind of. Oh god. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Give me that, please. Thank you. <laughs> God. 
good now, but that doesn't look nice. Come on, can we blow it up? Nope. Oh god, that hurt. Okay. How much health does that thing have? <laughs> there we go. Let's go. What is this? I mean, the whole world changes after this game either way, so... <laughs> how do we... Oh god, how do we... How do we get it? Oh god, it's... Okay. It's just like appearing randomly. Oh, buddy. That was scary. There was enough of it. It was all over the place. Dax could have grabbed some. So like too, yeah. I may have been too hard on you boys. You do have what it takes to be heroes. But Daxter, now we can't change you back. Don't worry about me, baby. You know what they say. Big things come in small packages. Jack, you have an incredible talent for channeling Eco. <laughs> Samos, you may happened. have been okay. right about this one after all. And Kira, without your help and ingenuity, None of this would have been possible. <laughs> Perhaps we've found another sage now that Gaul and Maya are lost. Yes, Gaul and Maya. The Dark Eco probably destroyed them. Uh, probably. Ah, who cares? Bring them on! We can take them again! Right, Jack? I said, right, Jack? Wow! Put it on ice, big guy. There we go, dude. GG's. Great game. A little bit shorter than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I knew it was a shorter game, but I was surprised it was that short. But uh, good stuff, dude. Good stuff. Did they come back? You don't remember? I've never beat two or three, so I don't know like who the big bads of those games actually are. Oh, and then there's also the one that nobody talks about, the new Frontiers or something like that. Um... So I don't know if they ever actually come back or not. Because I never beat the second or third. I've played the beginning of two and three. And from what I remember, they don't come back in either one of those. But like, you're teleported to a whole nother world or something along those lines in two. So like, I don't know, man. I, <laughs> after the first game, the story and whatnot kind of kind of lost me, to be honest. I didn't realize I forgot to turn the game back down. It's probably kind of hard to hear me. The wheel. There we go. But yeah, to the best of my knowledge, they don't. But I could 100% be wrong on that. Oh, man. Stretch a little bit. It's stretched out. Well, as we normally do, we're going to let the credits roll. Because these wonderful people deserve recognition for all their hard work making this great game. Um, while that's going... Oh, there is a cutscene after this? Perfect. Uh, like I said, I'm going to let it run either way. I always let the cutscenes, or not the cutscenes, the credits run. Um, but I'm going to start adding all of the votes that I haven't added yet. Because after this and the cutscene or whatever, we are going to be rolling on the next game to complete. 
So we have GG's, I think. Good good game, that one. <laughs> now two for Final Fantasy X. Um, one for Resident Evil 4. Four. Got one for Jack Two, and one to buy Beautiful Joe. Jack Two. Jack Two. Thirty-eight. Uh, Jack Two will not be eligible for this next vote, because um, I don't play the same game from the same series back to back. Try not to, at least, unless it's like, you know, something we're doing. Uh, but after this next vote, it will be eligible. And it has, or this next roll will be eligible. And it has a decent amount of votes, mostly, if not entirely, thanks to Nate. And, oh, Beautiful Joe. Don't forget Beautiful Joe. Doesn't apply to tonight, but still might as well go ahead and get the vote in. There we go. Nice, dude. So the front runner is definitely Final Fantasy X. For the next game to complete um it has nearly double not quite like 75 percent more <laughs> than the next place which i believe is god of war and mortal kombat shaolin monks not too far behind that but it could be anything technically since it is randomized it's much more likely to be one of those games but it could technically be any of them on the list so we'll have to figure out once uh, the credits here end Hopefully aren't too much longer, because your boy's getting hungry. <laughs> I need to find something for... Oh, man, should I? I don't know. Maybe I'll just find a snack. Because Mr. Noodle gets off work in like an hour and 20 minutes. Well, more like an hour and 30 minutes. And then it'll be supper time, dinner time for us. So I'll probably just wait just find something, a snack to eat of some kind. I have no idea what we're going to have for dinner tonight either. Maybe, um, I mean, I bought sausage. She won't eat sausage, but maybe I'll make rice to go with some sausage. Make like a uh, tomato sauce. I have some cans of tomatoes. And then she can just eat rice and, I don't know, eggs or something. <laughs> I don't know what she'll eat with it. Picky eaters kill me, man. I can't do it. I, I eat like basically everything. If I don't like like pickled eggs, I don't like one of the few foods that I just don't eat. Um, I and then like cooked oats. I'm not a fan of cooked oats. I eat raw oats a decent bit, especially lately. Um, or lately have been eating a decent bit of raw oats. But, like, cooked oats, I can't do it. It's too mushy, too pasty for me. That's pretty much it, man, for foods that, like, I don't eat because I don't like. I don't eat shellfish because of a allergy problem, but I like shellfish, though. <laughs> it's just, there's just a eensy beensy chance that, that it could kill me if I eat it. <laughs> Probably not, but... Yeah, I don't know, man. I couldn't imagine being picky. Like, Noodle is not the worst person I've ever seen in, in terms of food pickiness. But there are, there are a lot of things that she just won't eat. And, like, <laughs> gotta make those oats al dente. Well, and that's, like, what I normally do is mix them with some uh, low, low light. Some light yogurt. And uh, I'll eat it as, like, a dessert with whatever I'm eating. So, and when you do that, they soak up a little bit of the moisture from the yogurt anyway. So, like, they get a little soft, right, um, without cooking them. I guess it's kind of like the idea behind overnight oats, but you just don't let it sit long enough to get soggy. <laughs> I haven't actually tried overnight oats. I do want to try it at some point. Um, but, yeah. And then, to that point, there was one thing of oats where the, the directions had you make it in the microwave. And it didn't seem to cook as much as, like, oats I've had in the past did, following the directions on that package. And I did eat those ones from time to time. Like, they weren't too bad. Definitely needs to be, quote-unquote, al dente. Holy yuck!
Marco! What could that be? Wow! It's an ancient precursor door! It looks like it will only open if we fill all 100 holes with power cells. Oh boy! Here we go again! Fuck, bro. <laughs> you know what? Since I'm not making food anyways. <laughs> Let's get that last fucking power cell. Is, can we like teleport? I don't think we can, right? No, okay. Oh, I don't know why I came over to here. Can't do anything from over here. Um. Oh, okay. Checkpoint of me over here. Did they happen to like put a teleportation ring close by? Probably not. That'd be my luck. You know, when I 100% at the game before, I don't remember if I ever came back to watch this cutscene or not, to be honest with you. I may not have. This might be a first for me. I'm assuming this leads directly to the next game, though. To Jack 2. It's much harder to climb down this than it was up this. Bro, what is this shit? <laughs> was there a teleportation spot that I just missed? <laughs> Trying to like look down, where's the next one coming? God, if I would have fell. I wonder where the checkpoint would have put me if I would have fell. Oh God, I forgot about these things. Oh, we got so lucky, dude, let's go. Um. Aw, oh, dude, we gotta jump all the way. There's gotta be a quicker way to get him back through this. Oh wait, no. Hold on. We took a we took a shortcut. That was the start of this room. Back the other way. I knew I should have grabbed that last stupid power cell before fighting the or doing the end. Where's the exit? Is that the exit? Checkpoint, take me to like the middle, will you? No, no you won't. Is that the beginning? I think that is the beginning. Yeah, 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 okay. So the last power cell is right back here. All we need to do is get one scout fly for it. Sadly, though, I don't think... Oh, shoot, yeah, we're already dead. <laughs> I don't think you can do this one in reverse. I could be wrong, though. I've never tried to the best of my memory. I mean, so far, so good, going backwards. Ow. Oh, those are instant death, too? Okay. Gonna actually have to be a little careful. Closer than I would have liked to be. Okay. Maybe they did make it so you can go backwards. Or... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Now the real, oh God. The real trouble is I don't know the exact path I need to go on. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, we wanna go, oh shoot. It actually had me in a good spot. Okay. Now where, oh where is this last stupid fly? It's around here somewhere. Oh god. Right there, right there. He was right there. Okay, we got it. Come on. What? <laughs> Okay, I guess you I guess you gotta go down and then hop back up. Or just die. That <laughs> that works too. Son of a bitch. Okay, so this section we're clear. We don't need to worry about it here. Um Um help. <laughs> My god, dude. I hate this so much. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Oh, God. So far, so good. Okay, where was it? It was right around here somewhere. Right there. No, 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 no. It was right there. We jumped over it. <laughs> speed. Okay, let's go. No, 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 no. Why does this thing suck so much? Like, I'm scared to go slow because there's so many jumps and crap you need to hit. But at the same time, It'd probably be safer. There we go. Okay, so if we follow this one, I think it was right here. There we go, dude. <laughs> There's the last freaking power cell. Now just turn around. Or actually, you know what? Kill us. There we go. Those don't die instantly. I knew that, but I kind of forgot about it. Oh, that's lava, you dumbass. <laughs> We've done this level before. There's no reason for us to be struggling with it. Let me through, let me through, let me through. That was a little close. This should be the end, I think. Yeah. Oh god, <laughs> oh, don't fall right at the end. There we go. Climb back up. Shouldn't take too long, hopefully. And I'm assuming all we have to do is go there, not like refight the boss or anything. Bad jump. Wait. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Every time we checkpoint, man, I get confused on where the hell we actually are. Ooh. 
And I think that's a checkpoint, right? Yeah. Wonder no, it's definitely not. I was gonna say, I wonder if it's possible to skip some of these. Like, just go from one to the next, but... Or from one set to the next set, but I don't think it is. I think that's some... No, what? I pressed X, man. I must have pressed it too soon. Make sure we actually land before trying to jump. Uh, you. Oh god, okay, this one. And that should be it for that. We just gotta climb the tower again. Wait, what? Oh, that's right. Wait, what? Bro, what? <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> Why am I lost? Uh... <laughs> Why are we here? So that... Okay, that's not where we were meant to go. It just took us to the same section when we went down that dude. Where are the platforms that we need to climb? The robot's gone. Why can we not just, like, teleport to the top, dude? Come on. Is that it? No. How do we get up there? <laughs> um... Why am I so lost? If somebody knows the way to go, by all means, I'm all ears. <laughs> what am I missing? Were those stairs? What, these ones? So we've done this before, and it wasn't at the end, I don't think. Stairs, oh, like back in here? Were there stairs back in here? Or back down to like where the robot was, is that what you mean? Oh, jeez. Robot, okay. Stairs. Stairs. Looking for stairs. Ah, right here. Okay. Yup, found it. <laughs> I was a little confused on where we need to go, man. Because when we jump down... Wait a second. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, this, this is fine. Because when we jumped down from, from up top there, we were on that section with the, the stupid jump pad, so I thought that's where we need to go. And then, here we go, okay. But that's just because of where we jumped down from here at. I, I got it. No! Okay. Ho, 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 ho. I would have been, oh, God, okay. 
Everything is fine. Everything is great. You dick. You dick. Where am I? Okay. Oh, try not to fall. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. I'm scared. I don't want to fall. Okay. Why would they not just put a sage portal at the top of this place? And before they did, and I'm just blind. I should have grabbed that last one. Not that I need it, but feels dumb not to grab it. In we go. Up the elevator. And there we go, dude. All 100 power orbs, cells, whatever the hell they're called. Is that it? <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> can, we, can we skip the cuts or the the credits? Was that literally it? It just opens and everybody's like, wow. Bro, for real? All right. Um, <laughs> while the credits play, since we've already watched them once, I'm going to keep an eye on it. I'm going to keep it open on my screen here. But we're going to go ahead and roll for the game we're going to be playing next Monday. Um, just make sure I'm ready to switch back quickly if need be. Okay. <sighs> it's set for the beginning of Jack 2, but still, that was it. <laughs> it just, it just <laughs> opens the damn door and is they're like, wow, look how pretty. And nothing else? <laughs> we did all that for that? <laughs> <laughs> my god anyways so this is the list of uh games that we want to complete at some point right now mostly games that we have played on stream and enjoyed a couple that i was basically forced to put on here and then some that i just want to beat and have never had the chance to uh mostly ps2 stuff because of the whole ps2 gauntlet thing for anyone who hasn't seen us roll on this list before or any of the lists before when I click the pick a number button, a random number will pop up. One of these will highlight. The first roll never counts, though. It's always an example. So in this case, with the example roll, it would have been at number 509, which is Pets 2 Dogs. And <laughs> holy shit, you forgot about pets? Well, <laughs> we were that close <laughs> to rolling on freaking Pets 2 Dogs. Technically, though, I guess it could still happen. I'm going to unclick it. The random number will pop or disappear after a moment, and then uh, at some point we'll click it again, and whichever one highlights this time is the one we'll actually be playing through. Hopefully not Pets 2 Dogs, <laughs> but we'll see. We still don't have a drum roll sound effect. We're never going to get one at this point. It's fine. Next Monday, we will be beginning 189, which is Final Fantasy X. There you go, Chocobo. <laughs> Most of those votes were his, not all, but a lot of them, and uh, we're finally going to be playing it. So Final Fantasy X, my first time actually beating the game, hopefully. <laughs> um, I've played it before, a decent bit of it actually, but never got around to beating it. So that's what we'll be beginning next week on Monday for uh, a little while probably, because that is a longer game. And so I don't forget, let's go ahead and re-enable jack two i do not no i do not remember how far i made it in in final fantasy 10 i i want to say probably not even halfway 
like once upon a time I thought it was probably close to like halfway through the game but thinking more on it probably not even that far because I want to say it was probably 15 ish hours maybe maybe but I don't remember because it's been a long time I wanted to start playing through it a while back um, and so like I picked it up the the remaster on Steam and everything and then just never got around to actually playing through it so no I really don't remember how far but uh, that's fine because we're gonna be finishing it now <laughs> and most of it will be new to me oh wait no not everything delete uh, up to here or actually no delete that one too and there we go well, I'm waiting for the credits to finish so we can make sure there's nothing else. I don't think there is, but we'll see. Oh, and uh, actually, I need to also... Do, 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 do. Somewhere on here. Not here. Here. I need to mark Jack 2, or Jack 1, as being complete. True delete and we'll mark final fantasy 10 as next so that i don't forget i don't think i'll forget that one but just to be sure there we are just put that in the notes nice i think we're i think we're about done with the credits maybe I don't see why the credits have to replay, man. Come on. <laughs> Come on. What do you got to do that for? Sony Computer Entertainment Europe. Producer Daniel Brook. European software man. <laughs> why? Ah, Come on, dude. Do they really have to include, like, the European PR manager in the English release of the game? Well, okay, not English, but the American release, the North American release of the game. Although they might have just did, like, one copy for Europe and North America, so in that case it makes sense. Lead testers, testers. Could you imagine, like, growing up a lot of people... I feel like wanted to be video game testers, right? That's what they wanted their job to be. But like in reality, man, 99% of it is just like finding a corner somewhere and jumping into it a hundred times to make sure you don't clip through in any way. Just menial things like that. Like honestly, it sounds like a dream job, but I feel like it would get old so quick in reality. Being a, uh, a QA tester for video games. Thank you, Spanish localization testers. Thank you, especially Kimberly Piper, Simon Rudder, Simon Neal, Chris Gorman, Rhea Cothair, <laughs> Matthew Kleinman, Jim Sangster, Stephen Reed, Rebecca Rice, and all at Submissions QA Liverpool. Thank you all, especially. Wait, is this just the title screen now? No, okay. Is that it? This is the title screen. So that's it. All right, well, <laughs> that was good, man. I had fun with it. It's a great game. Oh. And I think now you can probably see why I accidentally got the Platinum Trophy on it, because we completed, like, what, 98% of it? without even really trying to <laughs> complete it complete it so yeah it's just it's a great game man with a, it's it's a manageable game it's a ton of fun i'm glad we played it but it's late i've been on here for too long so i'm gonna stand up stretch get myself a snack and get ready to go pick up mr noodle you guys have a wonderful night thank you for coming and hanging out with me while i played i hope to see you guys again soon until then though or as always, I screw up the outro every time. Every time, dude.
Be kind to each other. <laughs> bye bye, y'all. Oh my God. Order for anyone who has them.